What's up, sup? Tuck the fuck in. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, uh, <clears throat> don't be surprised if I make a turtleneck outfit on Jabaz, okay? You? I'm just saying. I love turtlenecks, dude. I'm probably gonna do a black turtleneck and a, uh, and a, uh, black fancy coat. Black pants and then all the silver, I think it'll look really good on Jabaz. Yo, it's a privy. not dead shame that's how I feel Vesper my chat guilt trips me my chat guilt trips me into keeping characters alive on God my chat knows I'm I'm too uh, I'm too much of a nice person I can't kill my characters when they guilt trip me Dude, what is this emote Ruth has fallen off cliffs, okay. This gaslighting. <laughs> Gaslight girl boss gatekeep. Time to walk my 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 injured ass to the telegrams. So I can go send a FAO Kennedy, I'm gonna kill you. Are you alright, sir? Yeah, I'm okay.
Are you alright, sir? This guy. This guy about to get it. Yeah, I said I'm okay. Oh, I'm I didn't hurt you, sorry. Just in a lot of pain. What happened? Got shot. Oh. Well, that... Quite explanative, right. Y you got shot like that while crossing the street, or...? <laughs> I got shot in the line of duty. Oh! You're, you're part of the law, okay. Yeah. Well, nice to meet you, sir. Nice, nice to meet you. Uh, my name is Lupin. I just arrived in the crossing uh, <laughs> two days ago, so I'm not. St I'm still not really um, uh, knowledgeable about uh, low people. I, I got you. I'm, <coughs> I'm senior deputy Ruth. Ruth. Okay. But you're sure you don't need any medical assistance, sir? <sighs> I just contacted the doctors. I'm just gonna wait here for him. Uh, I, I, I'll stay with you uh, while waiting for him. I, I'd rather not have you making, uh, well, fainting and no one being there to help. Okay. Unless you don't want me anywhere near you, sir. <laughs> it's, it's okay. Say your name again. Lupin. Lupa. Yeah. All right. Nice French. To Lupa. Oh, I'm learning French. <coughs> oh, really? Yeah. Well, it's a beautiful language, but yeah, quite hard on some... Uh, not some, but a lot of things. Yeah. Uh, je m'appelle Jamie Ruth. Is well, that... That, that's actually correct if you wanted to say that your name is Jamie Ruth. Yeah. So yeah, you're good then. <laughs> so, sir, uh, for how long have you been a uh, deputy? Uh, I've been a deputy for uh, three months this week. Oh, well. Congratulations, and thanks for your service, I assume. Uh, thank you. What do you do for work? For now, I'm just helping around in town. I I had quite the misadventure when I tried to go around Saint-Denis. I think um, Deputy Pop could uh, attest of it. But yeah, um, for now, I'm just here trying to learn and to meet people before trying to do anything else. I I think I'd like to become a doctor around here because I have some basic medical knowledge. But yeah, I heard about Rangers too. I'm not sure so far. I got you. Uh, we could always use more doctors. Yeah, I, I get, I feel like that because I, I might be awake at some strange hours, but so far I met like one doctor. Okay, that's not true, Spoofy. Jabaz cares about Enola. Oh, I, Look, I got I off. I would have expected. Okay. I got off At last least night, one doctor and I was gonna get on earlier each, uh, today, but there's office, nobody around, but, and then yeah, I was like, you know what, I gotta get on now. Like that here. Yeah, there's a. Uh, there's usually always doctors here in Strawberry. Oh, so they, I was stuck they in solitary. Between, okay. Um, strawberry and Blackwater. Well, uh, and now I'm getting fair, down the, world. the two towns are next to okay. each other. I think it it might be the same thing for Saint Denis and Rose, right? Yeah, maybe. Okay. By any chance, sir, uh, 
Would you have met some man named Cunny Clo? <laughs> In uh, in person. Okay, because I've been mistaken for him like quite a, a number of times since I arrived. So I'm not sure what to think about it. If I am, if I have to be scared or not. Uh, I think it's I think it's the uh, the hair. It, I think it's the hair, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Well, sadly, I didn't choose the color of my hair. Yeah. I think it's more the length. Oh, so He's got if I was hair. to Okay, I, I yeah. see, I see. Well, I might go cut them later then. I mean if you like it how it looks and keep it, you know, don't let anybody else well, dictate your life I... choices. I actually like the way it is, but since I know nothing about this Kaniklo guy, uh, I wouldn't like to be kidnapped in his place. So... But yeah, so far I... I feel like the crossing is quite nice. I, I've i only been robbed four times, so <laughs> that's a thing. And today I'm not sure if it's good or not, but hey, so far it's good. <laughs> I didn't get shot. You've been robbed four times? Yeah, and twice in a row. So yeah, it was quite... Uh, it, it was yesterday for a train robbery where um, the engineer Diego and... Uh, Miss Ed uh, were kidnapped. What do you do for money right now? Right now, um, I uh, followed the um, advice of Mr. Goldthorpe and I bought a carbine repeater in order to to be actually able to kill things rather than just tumbling them with my horse. Uh, I help quite a lot Mr. Stark at the grocery, grocery store with a milk run and I did some um, some uh, wood uh, delivery. Yeah, they... <coughs> <laughs> Blackwater is a uh, it's a good town. Yeah, yeah. Mister Stark said that uh, when I arrived at the dock, uh, I had actually made the best choice to to land here. Yeah, Mister Stark's a really good guy. Yeah, so he he's Mister Rockwell. He runs the saloon across the street from him. I haven't met him yet, but yeah, Mister Oglethorpe talked about him. So I think he might be a fine guy. You smoke? Uh, no, but I actually have some rolled uh, cigarette because I tried myself on it. So if you want some, I can give you some. I appreciate it. I probably shouldn't, uh, I probably shouldn't smoke right now. Well, as you know, I went gather myself a tobacco in field, so could be good or not. Yeah. How are you? Oh, you don't have, it's a gift, sir. I, you don't it's, have. Mine's a gift, too. Fine. Just go put it in the bank so you don't get robbed. Yeah, right? I will. I will. I see that another deputy is there, so I will leave you there, sir. All Good right. luck and uh, stay safe. Yeah, you too. It was nice meeting you. I will. Nice to meet you. Bye, miss. Goodbye. Hey. How you feeling? Uh, I don't feel great. I feel weak. Had to see her awake at least. Yeah. 
I'm glad to be awake. Howdy. Howdy. Hello there. Uh, what happened to you, Ruth? I got shot last night. I was, uh, I was, uh, I was out cold overnight. I just woke up. I contacted medical. Didn't hear that you got shot as well. Uh, that makes two of us. Oh, you got shot, sir? I did. How are you holding up? Uh, well, luckily nothing in the gut, so, uh, you know, I can make do with, uh, one good arm right now. One out of four limbs ain't so bad. I got I got shot twice in the chest. Yeah, <laughs> lucky to be talking and breathing right now. Yeah. Uh, you already sent for a doctor. You're waiting for them to come here to help. Yeah, I'm waiting for a doctor. I woke up and uh, there's no doctors here, so I, I walked my uh, walked my injured ass over and sent a telegram. All right. Well, um, I aim to do whatever I can to help with the. Uh, memorial services uh, perhaps you haven't heard if you haven't been back to the office yet but uh, the funeral is now for two uh, I saw that. Uh, yeah so I'm gonna go try to assist with that you know what, what happened uh, Spangler uh, uh, died of hypothermia sometime overnight uh, fell asleep on a bench in St. Denis it seemed and Cold got to. So, uh, anyhow, I'm uh, going to do whatever I can uh, to try to go speak with uh, the folks that are setting that up just to make sure that it can go on. Not that I can do much with one arm, at least I still got a working mouth so I can figure something out, I'm sure. Yeah. It, when, uh, whenever a, a doctor looks at me, I can, uh, I make my way to the office and help as well, sir. <clears throat> uh, who was it that shot you? Uh, I, I don't even know. Brooks? You were there. I think it was Kennedy. <laughs> was shooting at a cougar. Oh, hell. <coughs> okay. Well... Yeah, you make sure you rest up. You know, and, uh, if I see a doctor, I'll send him right here. All right. Thank you. And you're all right, Brooks? Yeah, I'm fine. Just saw him. Let's check it out. Um, all you other folks here, are you waiting for a doctor as well? Sort of, but not uh, for medical treatment. I am actually a doctor, but uh, I cannot practice right now. Understood. Uh, are there any messages you need me to pass along, or are you waiting for someone in particular? I'm waiting for Dr. Bellatrix. I'm her mentee, and uh, we're having a mentor-mentee meeting sometime. <laughs> relatively in the next hour or so. Okay. Is that what you... I thought hey, it was a, 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 men uh, a mentee? Thorson. Okay, good you know. Believe it's a protege. That's one. I, I will. Uh, Am I crazy? Be sure to let Doctor Trix know. Yeah, she told me she's gonna probably be around Blackwaters around now or so. Menti is a thing. And uh, you other two, are you in need of help? No. Yeah, I just Deputy Ruth got shot. I'm gonna see if he was okay. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Are you from again? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we'll have it's a party. Wow. It's some kind of party, but not the fun kind. Yeah. Not the fun party? No, sir. This uh, is a doctor's office. What that? Oh, it's a doctor's office? What's a doctor? What's an office? Uh, a doctor is someone who helps people who are hurt. In the office mm -hmm. next the building, baby that the man baby that shits his pants is gonna work. show up and we're gonna be in Valentine again. Ah. Like Blue Baby's mother say always says Blue Baby's damaged. Does, does that mean Blue Baby needs help? <laughs> Could be. Could be. 
hard to map, know. Map, map. Yeah, but that was dropped on the head a couple of times. It's tired. Well, um, <laughs> I'm just on my way out of town. If I see Dr. Bellatrix, I will let them know. Um, if I see any other doctors, I'll send them your way, Ruth. All right, thanks. Yeah. So old... is this where you go inside for help? Uh, the doctor ain't in right now, unfortunately, sir. Why not? Well, can't be everywhere. What do people get you at? Well, then they have to do their best to survive it and wait for the doctor. That's a word, swear. There are also local doctors and nurses at every uh, office if there aren't any available. Uh, others. Uh -huh. uh, they can treat you. They're not as efficient. They do take a little bit longer, but uh, they. They can help you out if you need. I need to make. I need uh -huh. to delete this outfit, Chad. Even though I love it, and make a red sweater now. I'll see most of y'all later. Uh, take care. Okay, buddy. Take care. Bye bye. Good seeing you, Sheriff. Sure. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear you got shot, Deputy Ruth. Uh, it's uh, it's all right. I'm I'm alive. I'm recovering. I think, hopefully. Yeah, I'm glad to see you're still here. How are How are you? Um, yeah, I'm okay. Re really, thank you guys for helping me last night. It, um, giving me more confidence. Yeah, of course. I like the uh, I like the I like the outfit. Thank you. Do I like lots of colors? Looks like it. You yeah. got a cool hat. Hey, where did you, where'd you get that hat? You yeah, at the tailor in, um, I think Is I got this one in Valentine. Uh -huh. Or maybe Rhodes, I can't remember. It was one of them. Ah, uh -huh. alright. Do you think the tailor has some shoes too? Billy Bobby's shoes got stolen by a goat. It didn't give him back. A stupid yeah. goat took it from Blue Bobby. That's so weird. You, you should go see the tailor oh, over there. It's a really good tailor over there. Wait, uh, what? It's a tip because Blue Bobby's broke. Well, well, um, it, it'll cost you some money, yeah. Oh, it's gonna cost some money? Here. Oh, it, it, Shit. It, here, yeah, Blue Bobby's new in town and don't have Are any you? friends or work. So what the, that's really difficult to know. What the fuck? There you go. Go get yourself some shoes. Oh, so thank you, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. No, I'm uh, just gonna find the table. Deputy Burke, can I talk to you really quick? Yeah, of course. Oh, whose horse is that? That's a beautiful horse. Is this your horse, sir? Uh, no, it's. Uh... Perfect oh, it's time to Brooks. Where's your horse? It ain't here. You don't have a. No, it you ain't. You don't here. have a horse. I do, and he's just not here. You want to sub? How ah. you doing, baby cake? Why not? Don't you need a horse if you're gonna go around town? Yeah, but I got shot, so my horse ain't here. But what's, over what's that stable. has to do with the horse? Well, because I didn't ride here on the horse, so he's at the stable still. Oh god, it's a cat. You probably go everywhere with the horse. Except it's a bit stupid, but that's okay. Hi! Horsey! Over here! Hi! Hi! Come here! Yo, Sob, you wanna know how I comed last night? Kennedy shot me. Hi! Hi! Over here! Twice. Yeah, that horse fell down the mountain one time, and it's almost died. So it's a bit, it's a bit, a bit stupid. Hey! Get this back, come on! Hey, you make it Bilbao look bad. Ruth, you just need a checkup, right? Hey, you make it Bilbao look bad. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I woke up and nobody's, nobody's Bilbao looked at me. Um, it does, I was reading through your, your chart, it does look like uh, Dr. O'Hara visited you earlier today while you were still unconscious, but, uh, oh, okay. uh, she left some notes about, uh, a prescription for 
uh, venison and some fever few tea. Uh, I can provide that for you, and um, maybe I could also listen to your lungs a little bit and check your uh, stitches and such. But they, w it does seem like they were checked earlier for to satisfaction. But I can recheck them since you're awake. Okay. Uh, why don't you come on side, and I'll do all that for you. Congrats on senior. Thanks, buddy. I'm going for trooper next up. I'm gonna get chief on Tommy Toretti and then immediately get rid of it for chief. All right, why don't you have a seat in right okay. one of the chairs here, whichever one. How was your stream, man? How's your supper son? So, uh, in this envelope, there is, uh, it's called Phenacentin. It is, uh, it'll help with pain, but it's also really good for, uh, preventative measures for any type of infections. You want to take one in the morning, one in though. the evening. Uh, yeah. and then also in that envelope, I have five tinctures of feverfew tea. You'll just want to brew that up in some hot water. You can pour it into a canteen and drink it, uh, or you can drink it straight, you know, in a mug like a civilized person. Yeah. Uh, so apologies that the fever few is not going to taste the best, but it will uh, help prevent infection. Um, all right, let me just get my stethoscope real quick. How are you feeling today? I don't. I don't feel great. At. Uh, Probably that tracks considering um, if I'm going to just, well, let me warm up my stethoscope. How are you doing? Okay. I'm all right. I just, I, I was reading through Ruth's notes here and I think just doing a follow -up visit ain't going to get me in trouble too much. Uh, I'm not doing surgery or nothing on him. Uh, I just want to listen to his lungs. All right. Um. Jamie, if you could just take some normal breaths and let me listen to your lungs. Okay. <coughs> Still pr hurting to uh, breathe. Yeah. yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's probably going to hurt for at least another couple of days. But, you know, some people do heal faster than others. The important thing in... I've been coughing a lot, though. That's good. Well, the good news is I'm not hearing any fluid in your lungs, which is the most important part. Um, you're not getting any signs of, say, let's... Uh, I mean, I know you can't really take a deep breath, but you're not getting, like, dizzy or anything from sort of, like... Le um, I don't want to say this. Um, there's... Epoxia is basically... When you're not getting enough deep breaths um, because of air pocket beside your lungs, um, it can make you real dizzy. You start like your fingernails start turning blue, stuff like that. Um, I got you. But you're you're not feeling like that, are you? Like uh, getting kind of dizzy from lack of air or anything no, I like just, that? No, I, I just I feel just in a lot of pain and I keep coughing. Okay. Well. Your your lungs are probably still just doing a lot of healing based on what I read in your chart. Uh, they've been through a lot of trauma. Um, as long as we can get ahead of any type of infection getting into your lungs, I, hopefully you'll be good. Um, let me take a look at these wounds. That is... Also important, we need to make sure we are avoiding any type of infection there. Fuck. Don't see anything. Just check both. 
both sides of this through and through, front and back. Looks like these stitches are doing well. Um, okay. Uh, since, you know, I just undressed these and such, I'm just going to go ahead and give a little clean of these wounds right. again. I'm sure Dr. O'Hara probably did it earlier today, but no harm in doing it again. Uh. And then I'm going to just reapply some this herbal ointment all over them that will help keep the inflammation down, things of that nature, uh, keep it clean, avoid again any type of infection. Surely, I'm mean, gonna. I'm definitely not gonna go to respond to something today. And then I would just re-bandage you up there. Fresh, brand new, clean bandages. Uh, were you planning at all to do any traveling today? Yeah, I, I gotta go to. Uh, I gotta go to Saint Denis. Okay. Um, can you get a wagon to do that? That probably be or like a buggy. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. That would be best to travel. Is it? I gotta go to a service. Should I wear like comfier clothes, or am I fine to wear something formal? Um, if you wear something more formal, you got the formal clothes that maybe ain't too tight, especially like constricting around. You know, I don't know for for men's fashion, but women's fashion, a lot of uh, nicer clothes are very constricting around the rib cage, especially, and that's probably not going to be good for your lungs. I guess maybe I'll see if I can find a black turtleneck or something. Sure, yeah. Again, uh, feel free to, to dress uh, appropriately for the occasion, but also take in mind the physical state of your body. So I'm just going to feel your forehead real quick. Um, you know, again, checking for any type of fever or anything like this. You are slightly warm, so make sure you probably want to. You can take one of these fenacent now, and again, that fenacent is great for preventing infection or fighting off infection. Um, you seem like everything is pretty good right now, so the fever few and the fenacent will help stay ahead of any possible infections because, again, your body's been through a lot, and we need to make sure it stays ahead of the curve, so to speak. Okay. But uh, obviously, I, this probably doesn't need to be said, but I'll say it anyway. You are definitely not clear for any type of duty right now. Okay, I, I can do paperwork though, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Good thing you recently came in a position where you're going to have a lot of it. Yeah. Uh, well. I mean, that being said, uh, I'm only planning on going to a service and doing paperwork today. Yeah. Uh, however... I'm, I'm not gonna let somebody get like held up at gunpoint in front of me. I I, I gotta do something at that point. It won't well, sit right with me if I don't do anything. I mean, obviously you're gonna do whatever you want to do. I can't. I'm not gonna babysit you or tell you that otherwise. But uh, if you gotta draw a gun, try not to use a rifle. Considering no, I never do. I got my oh. navy. Excellent, yeah. Um, you know, also your mobility is probably going to be a bit limited, so I imagine keeping your gun drawn at your hip, uh, uh, what do they call it, fanning the hammer, so to speak, uh, as opposed to reaching out fully with your arm extended probably is going to hurt a lot more. Uh, so just be careful, that's all. All right. You uh, try to avoid situations that will involve you having to try to draw your Navy revolver on somebody. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, unless you have any types of questions or concerns, uh, I think that'll be about it. You seem relatively good health, all things considered at the moment. Actually, I'll, I'm going to sit here for like 30 seconds and uh, maybe see if I can think of anything to ask. 
Yeah, no worries. Hey, Chad, I'm going beer. I gotta go AFK for two seconds. Speaking of paperwork, I am going to pull up your chart and, uh, do a little paperwork myself real quick. Oh, and you'll, um, you'll need to get a, like a follow up visit in like another day or two. Um, keep checking on the sutures for when they're ready to come out. I'm going to carry my volcanic today. Hello, Kenny. This is the animal fucking king of the day. Huh? Huh? Huh, Kenny? You know the puppy's awake, so you gotta come bother him. Is that, is that what is that what I'm hearing? Is that what you're telling me? Who's my good boy, Ollie? Sit. Sit. Good boy. Ugh. Be nice to the king. Hey, he's the king of being a bully. Okay, he bullies my dog. How how much how often do I have to take the uh, the medicine? Uh, one pill in the morning, one pill in the evening. Okay, and what if uh, what if uh, what if like uh, I start to, you know, I start to get into a coffin fit or start to get really heated? Do I go to like a overheated? Should I just go to a doctor's office? Uh, you yeah. If there's any worsening signs, definitely. Get a telegram to medic, get yourself to a medical office, and uh, get someone to look at it. But at this point, I, I don't hear anything in your lungs. You do have a slight elevated temperature, but uh, with everything your body's been through, that does seem kind of normal. Um, but yeah, any worsening signs, definitely get yourself to a doctor to look at you again. Okay. And All then... Right. Um, You'll need some follow-up visits over the next few days until these sutures are ready to come out. So keep them clean. Don't uh, go 
jumping in any Dakota rivers or Montana river or any, any of those types of things. Uh, don't get yourself mauled by a cougar, things of that nature. All right. Stay away from Kennedy. Y yeah, I guess so. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Have yourself best day possible, all things considered. Uh, Thank you, Bridget. Yeah. I'll try. Appreciate it. Yeah. You want to go to the office here? Yeah, probably. How are you doing? Doing okay. I can't believe Spangler's dead too. Yeah, I know, that's sad. CD did kidnap Finnegan. Uh, we give paperwork on it. Yeah, he just told me, so I just wrote the report. I see if I can make put something together that's a bit comfier for the service. Yeah. Especially since, uh, especially since it's outfit, I probably need to get a new white sweater. Considering all the blood. It's not exactly white. Yeah. Yeah. I I hope Coyote's here and he asks me what happens. I just go down to the tailor. First, okay. Figure something out. Wearing all black to the service, yeah. Uh, I think I have a purple shirt, but mostly black, yeah. Somebody's in there. There always is here. I went to Valentine when I had to get some hey, new clothes. Is there anybody in there in th right now? Hello. You said hey. one more minute. Yeah, yeah, I'm just coming out. Oh, okay, I couldn't oh, hear you. Cameron. Hey, Cameron. Ah. That's fine. How you doing, Miss? Uh, circumstances, I guess. Aye, aye, I've seen what happens, but uh, congratulations as well. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna go put something together for the service that's a little bit more comfortable. Maybe won't get my stitches out. Aye, aye, please. Uh, good to aye, see you. you. Yeah, you too. If you need anything, I'll be in the office. Yeah, I'll be over there. Aye, excellent. Alright. I'm going to... I'm gonna put something together, okay? Okay. Alright. I'm not gonna bathe, and I'm gonna put a condition that there's tufts of red in his hair. Alright. Chat, I need somebody to take a picture of this. This outfit is fire, and we are remaking it. They're remaking this outfit after this service, I think. Some version of it. I was putting the pic of it in drip check. That way I have it. Should have ate before. 
Pay to Karen. Easy. Dude, talk about a sweater. I'm so bound next to you. Also, I'm just going to say, just a heads up. Is Coxcomb red? This is the, the look I want to have on Jabass. Like this coat with this turtle turtleneck. Coxcomb red. Could even do this. What for rare? Dude, this is kind of good looking too. Love is your best love. I kiss is a Goodbye. Watch you hold me so your arms. So To you. Hmm. Not sure what kind of open code I want to go for. Turn black. It's cocks going red. Sky burn black. It's going red. Dude, low key though, chat. Hey, hey, low key though. All I'm saying, making a winter version of the o of this coat. All I'm saying. Bum, 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 See, I feel like this is, I feel like this is good as like a winter version of the outfit. I just, I really, is it just me or I feel like the turtle, the white turtleneck is the only one that like, like hits it for me okay i don't know like the white turtleneck just hits entirely different shit y you know what i mean like
Sheesh. Look at that, bro. Look at that, dude. Like. Is it considered bad to wear a turtle, a white, like, is it considered bad to wear white in a, at a funeral? Shirts are usually white. Yeah, I wore all black to a funeral when I had to go IRL. It's not banned, it's unusual. Is it unusual to wear a white turtleneck to a... I mean, maybe a turtleneck is unusual. I could see that. What? Did I just hear a bear? Oh. Damn. Tie on a turtleneck. Uh, it ain't a tie, it's a sweater. Or a, uh, what do you call it? A sweater. See? Scarf, that's what it says. Same shit. And make it I kind of like the flat cap for for funerals. I did it for the I don't know I don't remember if I did it for the last one. I kind of like this, though. Yeah, there isn't a good version of our normal one, though. Bro. I'm not gonna lie, I, I kind of want to do the gray coat, but once again, I don't know if it would be nor weird to show up in gray. I wish there was pants that made the turtleneck tuck in, though, to be honest. I know the vest works. Scarf? Well, that's why you, uh, you can take this, you know. The scarf's only there as an option. It's not there as a... As the end-all, be-all of the outfit. Oh, what do you guys like better? Uh, this gray coat or like the black suit jacket? Yeah, I keep hearing it. I don't know what it is. What is in here? Like this? White to turtleneck or do you think gray or black turtleneck? This is the black. This is like the grayer one. The white, that's what I figured.
And you think the gray coat looks fine for a funeral? Okay. Whatever you guys say. Yeah. Uh, you need to see this. I don't know if I should shoot it or trust this woman. Can you get her to the medical tent? Stupid. Yeah. yeah. I'm a... Okay. We are in Blackwater, This way. Yes? This way. Yeah, yeah we're in Blackwater. Wrong way to the medical tents. Uh, there's no other way. Oh, there's a oh. staircase over there. Okay. Yeah. Over there. You're so cute, Payans here. Uh, yeah, this is what I was dealing with. It's, oh. it's a bit of cutie pie. Wick, it's cute. She was in there with it for... A while trying to help it escape. Is this town Valentine today? I. She said it was her friend Blue. She's known it forever. It didn't attack her the entire time she was in there with it. How do I look? You look nice. Wearing your same sweater though? Or is that I new got one? a new one then. Okay. I was gonna get like a black or maybe a red, but it just didn't look as good. Yeah. Really can't believe multiple shots fired in black water. <laughs> I gotta go send a tip. Yeah, go send a tip. This is oh, I'm great. I just woke up. Uh, you? I got shot. What's wrong? Uh, you got shot. Uh, that's not good. Uh, what happened? Uh, I think I was in a, a, a medical coma. I don't know what it's called technically. Medical coma? Yeah, that's like serious, for stay overnight. What happened? Who shot I you? shot in the chest twice. Why? What happened? Uh. I, there was a, a. I don't know. Kennedy shot me. It was an accident. Oh. 
Uh, uh, how do you shoot somebody twice on accident? I don't know. Maybe one time, but two times. Uh, that's reckless, no? <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I have my back to him. I don't know. Uh, were you all in a gunfight with uh, an outlaw or um, <laughs> and maybe in the chase? What happened? No. There's a cougar. Uh, it was wildlife. Yeah. Shoot. And what happened exactly? Was it attacking you or attacking him? Yeah. It wasn't attacking either of us. I got bucked and got to my feet, and then I got shot. I, it's probably better to ask Brooks. She was there. I see. It's just concerning. Uh, I'll talk to Kennedy as well, but... Ruth, I'm really worried about you. Why oh, are you worried about me? Uh, you look like shit. <laughs> and on top of it... <laughs> Uh, I'm concerned that you you're not look looking like after shit. yourself. It seems like you're keeping all your emotions on the inside. And one day, it's going to get pent up and just explode like a volcano. Can't say I look like shit. <laughs> oh, why is that? I thought friends are supposed to be truthful. I was just making a joke. Oh, I see. Oh, that went over my head. God, what happened over here? There was a bear right down. A grizzly bear? Yeah. How? I'd have made it Blackwater. I don't know. I was making this outfit for the service. Oh, I should oh, tell Ripley's, you. Oh, right? Yeah, I should. Have you seen anything? Um, I should probably get an outfit for that, huh? Yeah. Uh, well, have uh -huh. you seen anything? For, uh, have you read any paperwork inside yet? I have not. What happened? I should probably be the one to tell you before you find out. Um, what is it now? Spangler died tonight. I found out as soon as I woke up. Uh, what? What do you mean he's dead? He fell asleep in St. Denis on a bench and he died because of hypothermia. Apparently nobody checked up on him or anything. Said he was on duty for 14 hours and was going to bed. How does that happen? I don't even know. I, 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 I wish I didn't get shot. I, I, I would I would try to check up on him. You want to know where the buffaloes are? Oh, I don't understand. Uh, what is happening? It's four in four weeks. Four in four weeks. One a week since I became a deputy. I don't know what to say. What do you even say in times like this? How do you even... Uh, how does something like that happen? It's something so simple. Yeah, so serious. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Passed away. I'm trying to help them. You okay, Snow? Yeah. I'm gonna go change. I'll be back. You sure you see, you're okay? Do you see Baloo? Do you know where he went? I'd shoot him. Well, he is not dead, is he? He's dead. You shot Baloo. He was attacking you. No, he simply stepped on my foot. And he was about to try to eat you. I had no choice but to shoot Hello. him. Hello. Hey, sir. Oh, God. You good, Ray? Uh, breathing, I guess. Well, something had spooked him, and I was trying to get him back to the wood. I know. I was trying to trust you, but once... He was gonna start eating you, I couldn't risk it. It's okay. I will find my way back to Talchis. Did you bring him here? No, I was following him here. You followed him here? Mm-hmm. Not he following you? No. He would not follow me here. Something had spooked him. Hmm. 
I'm gonna do the most. I'm gonna do the most dad like thing. Well, not dad like thing, but the most like. What do you think you're doing? Me? Yeah. Let's get my weapon off my horse. Okay. I'm trying to get. Did you hitch this thing for me? Yeah. What's going on? Did you, did you, did you read it? You read the paperwork yet? Just read a tip about Klaus. Yeah, hey, that's what I was coming in to tell you. I found that I, I got shot and I woke up and found out as soon as I woke up. No. Yeah, nobody checked up on him. What do you mean nobody checked up on him? Where was he? He he was he apparently he was on he did a really he long shift. He did a transport to Saint Denis and then he had said he had been on duty for fourteen hours and was going to bed. And I guess he he didn't make it to a fucking a fucking house is the way it sounded. He, he fucking passed out. Just on a bench or something. And it was snowing and it was cold. And... I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Was it Brooks or Cash that said that he that he fell asleep on a bench? I'll be back. It was Cash. That's what I thought. He's gonna go try to make a change it, make an outfit a change. And he's gonna have fucking Leo sitting in there making something. I'm going to Strawberry. Man, sorry about that. Oh, God damn it! Every time you check the clipboard... God damn it, I didn't want my row to go alone. <laughs> He's making an outfit. And that's caused Monroe to go alone. How you been? Been okay. Hey Ruth, how are you? I'm okay, I guess. You alright? I'm holding in. Can't be too bad. Right. Still breathing, yeah. I guess. That's good. <laughs> Cause you're lucky. Glad you were alright. Yeah, they sent a... She said the injuries I sustained, I, I probably should be dead. Yeah, you had me worried. I was uh, here on the porch and some felon rode by. It said, there's a deputy dead in the tents. Let me know who, who done it. I'll go shake his hand. Fucking CD. <laughs> Piece of shit. I think, is that who it was? Yeah, he was cackling a bit when Ruth was hurt. Well, joke's on him, I ain't dead. Yeah, I'm glad you ain't. So, um, how long are you out of action for? I don't know. They said that I, sh I shouldn't be doing any work today. But, you know, I, I ain't letting anything happen in front of me. Yeah, of course not. 
But, uh, I mean, I'll probably be on duty Monday. Figure I'll take today and tomorrow light. Alright. And, uh, congratulations again. I don't know if I get to tell you. Thanks. Somebody sees Herrera before I do. Will they just remind him that if it's a wanted, it's got to be a wanted, not an incident? Sure. Yeah. I, he wrote like for? a ton of reports, and last night it looks like he wrote four or five, and he had all of them as incidents. I marked them as wanted. Okay. Well, I see him a little now. Yeah. We got a um an issue here in one of the uh, reports. The three Rob Blackwater Bank. Yeah. Right. We um I don't know if you noticed, but um Dakota we sent to Sisica. Yeah. She's still marked there as wanted. Oh okay. Was Scout caught? I ain't sure. he's the one that's processed, and he wasn't yeah. caught as far as I know. No, he wasn't, but um, oh. he wasn't marked like that when I went to bed. So I'm guessing he must have got caught. Oh, okay. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. How, how would... I know a way to fix it. I think I know a way. Yeah. Well, you just... Yeah. Put it all down this time. So yeah, I think Scout the, you know, just got caught because he's being released at 7.20 p.m. Eastern. Today. Yeah. Hold on, let me look. I think I know a way I can fix it. Yeah, what you can do is give him time served to make it zero and uh, change the fines to zero as well. Put yeah. a note in. Uh, she definitely was in Sisica. I took her there myself. Okay. But we can put through the paperwork. Do you want to do it since you were there? Just zero everything out? Yeah, I think I think Bowen left a note on it. Okay. Um, let me have a read of it. Because there's another incident where it happened before as well. Is it really? Um, yeah, it was... Thorn hasn't been on oh, duty God. since. I know they went to... I caught one of them. I know they went to Siska. But they're still marked as wanted. Clifford Otis. But it's marked as a DNA because I didn't bring to Siska, so I didn't want to touch anything. Also, Herrera wrote a report yesterday that I saw CD choking somebody out. Wait, he, he wrote then? Yeah. It says, CD was seen choking out someone behind Blackwater by Maya Brooks. It was not me. I don't know. I saw yeah. him talking to somebody, but I didn't see him choke anybody out. Okay. Hey, what's... Spengler's dead. What the hell? <laughs> you didn't know? I thought you knew I would have said something earlier. I'm sorry. Yeah. What happened? I was with him yesterday. Cash that he uh, died of hypothermia in the middle of the night. Oh, God damn it. Hmm. Hey, he's a good, he's a good man. Yeah, he was. Yeah. He seemed all right. He did a like fourteen-hour shift and. Yeah. I so remember that's going to bed. Yeah. I can go and damn it. Uh, 
Howdy. Howdy. Get changed. Thanks. Uh, howdy, Miss. And Andy Slicks, how you doing? I've been better, of course. As you've heard the news, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, I just heard about Spengler as well. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened. Um. Uh, I can't even understand it. I'll be honest. Yeah, me either. Yeah, seemed to me he was um trying to keep his mind off things with work, fourteen yeah, hour shift, and yeah, you get more money. So to go to bed, but who knows what happened after that? He was a good man. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Um, I heard he was pretty close to Ripley, so um, it's just, it's really unfortunate how everything happened. They're married. Yeah, they were married. Oh. oh. Wait a second. If they're married, I'm sure her death had an effect on him, right? Yeah, it did. Yeah. Yeah. And nobody checked up on him. I talked to him when we were patrolling the two of us. He was, uh... He was hurting. But, uh... He said he couldn't stand not working. So I, that's why he was pushing himself to work so much. I said I get where he's coming from. It's the same thing I do. Yeah. Yeah, I checked up on him as well. He he seemed alright. I wasn't trying to. Part. Yeah, I wasn't trying to push him not to push himself too much, because his big reason for not wanting to take time off was he couldn't sit around planning a service any longer without going crazy, which I understood. So I was gonna, I was gonna push him to take some time off after the service. I mean, one. It's really sad how uh, everything went down. Yeah. They're fucking dropping like flies. Lost fucking Wilkins as well. Found that out yesterday. So you didn't know about Wilkins either? No. It's been yeah, I heard about that from Kennedy. Since I've got a deputy, one a week. Been Wilkins, Ripley, Spangler, the, the most recent Yeah. three. Yeah. I've had seven deputy deaths since I've become a deputy. Yeah, I'm one of my six. Six or seven. <sighs> Too many. I think I'm yeah. I think I'm the only one in this room that was a deputy or a cadet when uh when uh when Wallace died. That's right. Yeah, I'll be at six then. I didn't I've never met that fella. Yeah, I, I, I never met him either. He was only a deputy apparently four days before he died. Yeah, I heard about what happened from Sheriff Rabbit. It was, yeah, um, it was Bloody Wednesday. So they yeah. called it. Where's this funeral at? Is it the, oh, the memorial service? Saint sorry. St. Denis. Oh, the church. Oh, I see that. Saw Mills and Alice were released. Great. Looks More like Wallaby to... and their crew is planning something tonight in St. Denis. Oh. There's been a whole around the oil fields. Looks like they're going to blow something up. Well, I'm ready. There's I'm a critical I notice on it as well. Down. They're going to catch a lot of bullets today. <laughs> I'm not gonna show any mercy to anybody. Enough oh. is enough. Jesus Christ.
I'm gonna try to move that report back to the top after I fix a bunch of reports. Uh, I'm gonna go to the telegram station. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna telegram Mills. Uh, part of the deal I helped get him was that he gets his gun back. So I'm gonna make sure that's a return to him. Um, I wouldn't um, go along with that. Yeah, I'll go with him. It's fine. You know, yeah. I, no, 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 I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna have him come to a sheriff's office to get it back. All right, perfect. Um, I don't know. Have you seen this list that's going around? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I talked to uh, Zip about that list. What did he say? Yeah, he said something along the lines of. Uh, he wants to have conversations with people. Some some forceful, some not forceful. Because I told him, I said, I'd hope you wouldn't shoot me. Or uh, kidnap me, because we have a pretty decent relationship, all things considered. Yeah, I thought that about uh, myself and him as well. But uh, then again, I ain't on the list. <laughs> I'm on the list. On the list. Man, he is just so pressed. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go to the saloon too. I'll come with you. All right. Yeah, I, I need a drink. Yeah, same. All right. uh, I just read the reports about the CD fella. He's been causing a lot of trouble again. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm gonna get changed. All right. Uh, where's my damn horse? I'm not. I can't even ride a horse. Oh, I see. So I'm walking. Uh, don't worry about it. I'll walk with you. I'm gonna grab a carriage when we go. All right. Uh, slacks. Uh, one second. Yeah. Grab the carriage now. All right. Slacks. Uh, yeah. Come here a minute. <laughs> they, uh. You're right, you're coughing a lot. Yeah, I don't know if you know, so I figure I should probably. You should probably learn from me instead of the clipboard. Uh, they promoted me. All right, Ruth. Finally, something good among all the bad. <laughs> what are you promoted to now? Uh, is he your deputy? Yeah. Right, I'm really happy for you. All right. It's been a long time coming. Hey, uh, does that mean that if I do something stupid, uh, you get to punish me? I, I, I don't know. Uh, uh, should I fuck around and find out? No. Oh, I'm so right. used to gambling. I was about to say, uh, the bar's right here. What would you like? It's on me. Uh, bourbon or a scotch? A celebration. Actually, a, a bourbon and a scotch. All right. Bourbon and a stew, please. Of course. Anything else? No, that's it. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to find the bourbon. It's a Tennessee whiskey. I knew that. I just found it. <laughs> uh, 
That's a lot of horses. I'll be honest. I've just been drinking the weak beer. Uh, Shit's my weak stomach can't handle the heavy stuff. Every time I drink, I puke. Yeah, I, uh... Cheers. Cheers. To being a steering deputy, Ruth. Congrats. Ooh. Fuck. Oh, you already have a drink. I was going to buy you one. No, I never drank the ones I bought last night. Oh, why is that? I think on the accounts of me getting shot, probably. You know what was even before that? Just never got a chance. Oh, we will one day. Don't worry. Well, you just now, but I'm talking about the future. <laughs> oh, sorry, Hopefully man. Hopefully with those bad days, there comes better days, and uh, we can smile and have a good time. <laughs> Not if my curse continues. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ruth, that ain't a curse. please, uh, take it easy. I beg you. I, like I said to the doctors... I only do paperwork and only go into Saint Denis, and then I'm coming right back here afterwards. All right. If you see one of us get hurt and anything happen, do not get involved. No, I am getting involved at that point. You're not getting involved. Yeah, I am. I already told the doctors, and they said it, they said they can't they they can't tell me not to. I say if I see somebody getting shot or somebody getting held up at gunpoint, I'm assisting. She said that I can't carry a rifle, and I I don't ever. So, but for the most part, I don't. So I got my volcanic. Pull it quickly. Said I should, uh. Oh, actually. It's actually. Let's see. No. Oh, oh, test it. It's hard to. Okay. Yeah, I definitely got a fan. Uh, should we sign off duty? Uh, I don't know if any. What people are doing for the service. Yeah, I'm not on duty anyway. I'll go off duty. Yeah, I'm gonna go off duty just in case. Yeah. Should we start heading that way? I'll probably. Um, all right. Uh, you at the wagon? Yeah, it's outside. I'll take the rain. Uh, the both of you can go inside. Right. <clears throat> uh, Menace, you come with us? Yeah, come with us. Yeah, if that's a run. Yeah, come with us. Yeah. Uh, you stay in the front with me, Menace. Sure. Oh, uh, my apologies. <laughs> it's alright. Uh, there was a there was a bug that was gonna bite you. That's alright. I appreciate you saving me. Uh, my God, this wagon's fast. It's really fast. Don't worry, Ruth. I won't pull a Kennedy and crash the wagon twice on accident. All right. <laughs> Be good if you don't pull a Kennedy and shoot Ruth. Well, hang on a minute. What's going on? I'm not sure. Uh, you probably just, just, just uh, say the story, Brooks. Because <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a little bitter. I didn't know. I didn't get to tell Slex. Uh, what are you bitter about? Oh. Kennedy was the one who shot Ruth trying to shoot a cougar. Uh, I'm sure Kennedy uh, has good intentions. Uh, accidents do happen, but maybe more careful. That's not like I, it's not like I died. <laughs> right. You stopped you breathing at one point. Oh. <laughs> what? You stopped breathing? <laughs> 
Oh, you were gonna die. You could have died! I thought he was dead. Some asshole rode past me and said, <laughs> There's a fella dead in the fucking medical tents. Yo, uh, who said that? I don't know. Apparently, some guy called CD. I never met him before. I keep hearing that name. Look, even if I stop breathing, I ain't dead. Even if I did die, it wouldn't be Kennedy's fault. Just trying to, what they're trying to do. I know. It must be the hair. That's why you got shot. Should we cut his hair for him or something? <laughs> what? what is this guy, He's man? Talking about his hair. Uh, no. Yeah, Bruce Kennedy's hair. hair. So oh. far away, it looks like a murder case. <laughs> I don't think that's. I don't think that's the case. I thought, you were, the I thought you were saying Kennedy's hair was getting in his eyes or something. Yeah, that, that could be the case. Wagonsman snacks. Oh, I tried. Those, um, just the transports have paid off finally. I hate, I hate Cisco transport. I hate taking the reins for a I love going to Cisco transport. I don't mind going on the transport, I just don't like having the reins in my hand. Yeah, that's understandable. I should want to write. My apologies. What's that? Like when your head starts to like fall forward a little bit, what is that like slumping? What is it? What, what is that like? Uh... What, what, what? I don't understand. It'd be slumping, wouldn't it be? I don't understand. Slumping works in this context, don't it? Well, it'd be like the chest and the head, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that I be something? I love this wagon. It's really fast. Be like yeah, it's that, got a lot of speed to the, it. The chest. I think what a wagons do. We, under we underestimate the speed of a wagon. Oh, uh, we really do. We can cover so much distance in such a short amount of time. Actually, I wonder if the stance is working. Maybe we should get them um, like a couple of those little wagons and start chasing people around on those. They'll never get away from us. And the problem is they're so big. Yeah, they are very big. Probably, uh, probably gonna be choosing strawberries in my town if uh, Sheriff Hart approves. Strawberry? Uh, from Blackwater. Well, I'm West Elizabeth, so I choose between oh, one of the I two see. to be stationed at, and Molly was a uh, senior in strawberry. So I kinda wanna oh. be a senior in strawberry. It's fitting. Well, yeah. I'm sure she's proud. Yeah. Yeah. 
I feel like she would be. Can we get to, uh, did we pass roads already? No, uh, we're coming in now, right? Yeah. Yes, we are. Can I stop at the bank? Of course. Did you need to check your telegrams, too? Oh, wait, I have a telegram as well. I never get telegrams. Okay. I'm a loner. <laughs> I, 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 I never I, get I a mail. Don't worry. Oh, uh, yeah, I think you're the only person that telegrams me. Uh, also, I asked you about the baseball game, and you never answered. Oh, it's yeah, no, that was really late at night. Sure. It didn't happen. There wasn't a game seven, Slacks. Okay. Uh, I, you wouldn't have known if I died because you weren't there. <laughs> Dickhead. Wanna fucking guilt trip me? I'm gonna be such a petty bitch about the sluggers. Anytime, anytime it's brought up. I'm gonna be the pettiest fucking bitch about them. I'm going to lose friendships dying on the hill of the St. Denis Sluggers. Like... I got an RP. Now that, uh, now that Molly's been buried, I want to hand down a, uh, hand out a few of her will stuff that hasn't been handed out. I believe it was her, her badge was left to, uh, to, uh, Monroe. As a rose cords for heart, the one to RP it out. All right. All right, hop in. Who is your telegram from? Oh, uh, it was uh, Frankie and um, Buckley. I oh. sent the both of them telegrams uh, to check up on them after what happened uh, in Saint Denis. They replied back. They're okay. Yeah, just I was recovering. trying to find Frankie. I yeah, find she just sent me a telegram. She uh, just did from where? I didn't. I didn't look. I just saw it right away. I would imagine it was Saint Denis. That's what they brought. Yeah, I've Who been looking to check up on. Them. Howdy. Oh my so god, look at the snow on the today. wagon! Yeah, I talked to him. Oh my god! Yeah, this seems like he's changed. Oh I don't my know. god. He's not his oh. uh, boyish self. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense. If you had to yeah. endure um, a traumatic experience like that, he wouldn't be the same. Even before that, he had started being a bit cold. Some things that were going on. He's always been yeah. a type like me. Just be, um, outgoing. I was, um, uh, thinking about the good, not the bad. Yeah, I do see similarities there. Yeah, it seems he's changing a bit. Yeah, he, uh, I, 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 I don't really know Buckley too well, to be honest. I can't, I don't think I know him well enough to be able to comment on him. He's at least uh, he's doing okay, right? He's recovering. Oh, that's what he said. He's four or five days. Fully back on his feet. Okay. Can I ask you three something? Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel uh, do you feel senior deputies in the department can be more proactive? Absolutely. I feel like sometimes they shop at being the bad guy. I, uh, I said this to Malone, and I, I feel this way about it. Uh, I'd like to, at least me, myself, I don't know if other seniors will do it. Uh, 
I want to be more proactive. Because for the most part, for the entirety of my deputy career, I never really had a senior pull me aside and just be like, where do you want to go in the department? You know, are you getting help to get in there? Or stuff like that. You know, yeah. give them feedback on, on how they can achieve those things. Yeah, I agree. I, um, I've personally asked for the feedback as well from our senior deputies and they sort of decline it, saying, you know, we don't do that. I'm the same boat. I think it's a great I idea. You, what can I work on? And I never got any feedback. Exactly, yeah. I've, I've asked and I've got told that I, I don't, there, there ain't much I can work on. They can't think of it, so. But yeah, Malone, they, they... Malone City, he'd like the idea of being more proactive. Yeah. I was told that, um, if there's, if there's no news, then I ain't doing nothing wrong. But, um, didn't really give me too much feedback other than that. <laughs> if there's no news, then... But I think it's a great idea that's, if you start doing that. That sounds like such a Malone thing, man. Uh, <laughs> should we check the plan first? Yeah, might as well. Right here, we got 30 minutes. We're a little early anyway. Yeah. Oh, what is that horse like? Well, my fear was that if we got here too late, it might get really uh, snowy. But, yeah. But so it's, uh... Dusty. Would you look at that? The telegram boy told me I have another telegram. Wow. I feel so wanted. You are wanted, buddy. Well, thanks. Oh my god, Batman song! Yeah, this is the Batman song. Uh, Deputy Parker, I don't think I've met that person before. Eleanor Parker. She, from the she just got... Yeah, she yeah. got it before yesterday. Something in... Oh, uh, I see. There's a stabbing in Valentine. Surprise, surprise. Somebody you want to... Uh, I'm gonna walk to the telegram station. Uh... I'm gonna just send a tip to the four of us who are in Saint Denis for the funeral. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you got one of them slacks. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, we should probably have the mm -hmm. wagon here. What do you think? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh, I will, we may as well all walk over then. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, just... probably a good idea. I'm gonna take off my coat until the actual service. Yeah. I'll catch up with you guys. I just need to like. Oh, uh, we can wait for you if you like. Ruth, throw your coat on. It's really cold. Yeah, I rolled down my sleeves. I'll be all right. All right, fair enough. Oh, Jesus. Oh, you all right? Well, we're definitely not walking. You're getting that wagon. I gotta push myself. No, the you only don't. Way I'm gonna recover. That's the opposite of what you should be it's a doing. Bit soon. Yeah. It is a bit soon. Yeah, it's the only way I recover. There's, it's time to rest and it's time to push yourself, Ruth. You have to. Know I can't ride a goddamn horse. Okay. Wagon. I'll, I'll. Then we get the wagon. wagon. We drop you off. We take the wagon away. Right, it's, I'll be That's fine. I, I'll be okay. Look, I have a wagon. Yeah, I, I understand you've got the wagon, okay, but I, I'm gonna walk. Well, you're not walking. I am walking. 
Uh, order. Oh, wait, it has nothing, to, like an order. It has nothing to do with the badge. I'm just walking. All right, hop on. Slacks, hop I, I want to walk to the telegram station. Uh, okay, uh, we can walk after the telegram station. How about that? Fine. There's fucking snow on my, my seat. Yeah, my ass is freezing. <laughs> my ass is freezing. 10 3, I'm a senior. I love how nobody's commented on the red stains in the hair. Nobody's a condition Andy like me. Slash me, view conditions, guys. Howdy, Bolton. Howdy. What happened to you? Uh, I shot twice so in the chest. chest. Oh. He's been dead. Are you... What happened? Uh, uh, Kennedy shot me twice in the chest. Yeah. It was an accident. <laughs> I see. I'm glad to see you on your feet then. Hey, congrats. Congrats, Paul. I think it's a uh, thank you. I'll say thank you. Yeah, I know you're gonna get. You're gonna hear it all day, but still, I wanted to uh, still say it. I just uh. Okay. With what happened to Spangler, I'm not really in the best mood. I know. I know. Yeah. People are. Uh, it's hard because I, I feel the same way when people try to congratulate me because, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but at the end of the day, you know. Yes. Focus on the good, I guess, even if it's a fleeting How's moment. How's it going? You're right about that. So, so uh, we're gonna send so in a tip that we're all here. Okay. I know you already sent one in, but the four of us are gonna send something in. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the office and get dressed. Well. All right. Get a little more better dressed than I am already. If you wait, we got a wagon if you want. We're going back to the office, okay. I think, after this. Yeah, yeah I'll wait then. All right. Nobody, no, no, nobody to kill yet. Yeah, we're still figuring that part out. This guy just say nobody to kill yet? If you're hearing, please let me know. Of course. I'd like to uh, speak to person, asking the why. Of course. We, I think we all like to know why, truly. Oh, maybe, maybe I, I not speak phrasing clearly. I will ask him the why by cutting from the ball to the head. Oh, Same okay. Well. okay, all right. I well, will split I, I bought him a scotch. I will serve him on table like Chris oh, What are these Dina. people talking about? Mm. It's not oh, serious. Right. Okay, all right. He's talking about killing people. Can do attitude there, Petar. What people gonna do? Oh, it was from Sam and me. That's what I got from Frank. Oh, uh, same thing for I don't Leon. Know who is doing to the place? Right, right. Uh, do you ever send the wrong um, sender telegram? Somebody else? A lot. The, the one, the two, three. Uh, yeah, I've the four sent it to the wrong person. Four person on the uh, well, the five, yeah, the six. Eight, that's embarrassing. Yes. Oh, Jilly. Oh, Jilly. Why Why do you wear the glasses if you still cannot see? What? Who oh. would do that? Okay, you have the party time. Okay, it's good. You, you, need, you need to lay down. It's good, Bench. I think that's Dahlia. 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 
Oh, it's good. Hi. Good to the you don't see Dahlia? She's standing right in front of me. Oh my god, you don't you don't see me? Fucking Dahlia. Oh no, she's she's there, looking like she's the there. Santa Nicolaus. She, she, the she, Sith. Oh, you just call me Santa Claus? The Sith. It's a it's American name. Santa Nicolaus. Santa Nicolaus. Santa Nicolaus. Santa Nicolaus. Santa Nicolaus. Santa Nicolaus. Santa. It's Santa. No, Nicolaus. Yeah, Saint Santa Claus. Nicholas. Yeah. Saint Nicholas. Oh. No, yeah, Nicolaus. Oh, Nicolaus. Okay. I understand. Hi, Dahlia. How are you? Oh, Tada! Magic trick. Yeah, the snow you were lost is really in the blizzard. coming down. Oh, is that what it was? Oh, you okay. cannot yeah, see sure. because yeah. snoring in the roof. I think so. Yeah. Fucking oh, Carlo, I think is inside. I don't know. He might be in the telegram station, but he's here. Somewhere. Oh, okay. Yeah. Great. Um, um, you? I'm stable hand. I'm assuming you sent an intelligence. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit better. Uh, to whom? So group of really said the station that we need. You see that? Oh, I can yeah, do that. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. There's a horse coming. I love playing around. this game. Yeah, this is this is interesting. Howdy, how you doing, ma'am? There's a lot going on. Maybe it's not like it's, it's like Hello. dust, but it's snow. And it's you? The, it's it's uh, snus. Snus. Yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe not say this word. This bad word. <laughs> No, I, I make joke. Uh, okay, nice. Mm -hmm. That's what yes. says it actually. I, I hope not. It kind of sounds like a bad one. You, you little snust. I tell him you She's say. She's the only person I see. Sorry, I sorry. Can I help you? No, I was calling that to Dahlia. Yes, well. so my friend Wait, in, the, in the in the short with the cow. Yeah. He I'm say sure you are cow. you are little snust. Oh my god. I'm a what? No, not Jesus Christ. No, not Jesus you, Christ. not you. To go. the Dahlia, San Nicolas. It's uh, the man here to the white, to the hair. What, what am I? Oh. He, he, he called you hurt. the snust. He made up a word about snow dust. Oh, okay. you think I'm the snust? snust. I'm so confused. No, not yeah, you. Yeah, you're talking to the lady. <laughs> no, it's him. <laughs> not him. What is actually no, going no, on? No, no, I have no, so many people. All right, we're just going to walk to the church. They're also doing the same. All right, perfect. Hey, I think that's Jabash behind us. <laughs> He's such a buzzer. Sir. <coughs> Is it? It, it looks like him. It does look like him. Uh, ain't that guy wanted? <laughs> uh, heavily, apparently. Heavily wanted, yeah. It's definitely wanted. I think. a cold number night I think it's actually morning <laughs> I can't tell Said headache. Are you sure it was a headache? Oh no. Oh no. It might not have been. Oh. You should have the snowstorm might get really heavy. Do we want to give it a minute to see if it was a. I, I think. Right here. Yeah, I think we should wait. Cause, um, uh, let's wait by the bench. I'm going to stick a seat on the bench. Courtney Street. Who 
was Courtney? Why does she own the street? I don't know. She must be somebody famous. That's why they named us Street after her. I would imagine. Uh, Brooks, uh, would you like to sit down? No, I'm okay. Thanks. Uh, what about you, Bolton? I'm all right. All right, then I'm taking the spot. <laughs> all right. What a gentleman. <laughs> How you feeling? Who? Uh, you. The same I felt 15 minutes ago. So... What were you originally shoot- What was he originally shooting at to shoot you? Cause I can't imagine- Cougar. It was just- Okay, that makes- That makes a lot more sense now. Jeez. We thought CD had kidnapped somebody. So we were uh, going after it by Stillwater Creek, just outside of Thieves. There's a cougar that lives there, started attacking. Mm. Panther, probably. Yeah. Uh, so you're trying to tell me. Yeah, it's CD's fault. <laughs> I don't think it's the fault of anyone directly, just... It happens. Apparently I wasn't breathing. Uh, that's how you die. Yep. He got shot, landed in the water there. We got him back to Blackwater pretty quick. How was Kennedy doing after it? <laughs> I know the announcement, but we're here for a reason. I feel like it would be people like the Dicentos. That probably should clear out because there's probably like 20 of them. I might have been a little rough on them too. I wonder. Okay, you know what? I I don't. I, uh, I wonder if say? anybody in chat knows Oops. this. If you go down to the lions den, does that bubble Didn't exactly say anything? But it was. Very the genius obvious. play would be if you want to stay in Saint Denis, just go to the lions den. Blamed uh, him, which I roughly have. so. Uh, especially oh, in the moment. Bubble? Damn. Oceans are high. This means you care for each other a lot. Uh, you're not wrong about that. I feel like this volcanic. I feel like this volcanic works way too well with my silver hair. <laughs> uh, so something is telling me that there is a lot of snow kicking up, and we can't simply, uh, you know, Vanius is lost in the uh, okay. the flurry of snow. Um, Yeah, hopefully, um, more folks will leave in the back. Neck. Yeah. I heard people say they were gonna go to the Blue Pearl. I might head over there and ask if they could clear out. Yeah. I'll call my horse into a lap around. Somebody wanna go with her? I'll go with her. Uh, come on, Ruth. I'll watch over you, buddy. Alright. What do you think of this volcanic, by the way? I like it. It really matches your outfit. My bounty hunting gun I used to use. All right. I had it before I moved here. It looks great. Howdy, y'all. Oh, howdy, bro. Howdy, right. right, everybody. Thanks, you. Right. Yes. That way, it's not so. I'll be back in a moment. 
We'll stand by this wagon. Hey, uh, Frankie. Howdy. What happened to you? You all right? I got shot in the chest twice. Oh, shit. First day on the job as a senior and you get shot in the chest? First, first hour on the job. Yes, hell of an abduction, uh, Howdy, Rivers. Yeah, it was an accident. Oh, I see him was. It's okay. Kennedy accidentally shot at me and said Cougar. Ah. How are you? I've been worried about you. Yeah, me too. I'm alive. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. It's pretty to watch from a window. Snow feels pretty nice, Not, uh, to be honest. Uh, being outside yeah, so in it. Oh, uh, yeah. We'll give it to I was trying to look for you yesterday. To to I couldn't find you. I think I'm glad that, uh, the I thought I'd run into you today. Have you been to the St. Denis office? Uh, we're doing both, um... Yeah, I've been months. around a bit. I'm on paperwork duty. No, That's the plan. Yeah, so am I. Did you see the box that was left for you? Yeah, I did. All right. Thank you. That makes a lot I just of wanted to make sure you get that. It's really yeah, rough, that's all. I got it. I should move it. I just got nowhere to put it right now. Keep it there. Yeah, I made sure baby. that there was a note put on the box so nobody else took it. Yeah. God, I can't um, believe. I know Bolton and um, Spangler. Yeah, I know. That was the first well, thing I heard when I woke up. I came to the city to find a way out for this I'm and um, sure. oh. and I got to the medical stuff. station. I saw him lying there. Oh. Yeah, and apparently, uh... Still not look good man down. down. Wallaby and his crew are looking at robbing the bank. Yeah. It's been a... It's Parker! Bad month for the department. It has. Hopefully. I mean, I prefer for them to not drive. Feels like the team is stronger than ever now, though. You know? Yeah, it's always trying to find the silver lining in the band. Not letting the spirits get... Yeah. Fully defeated. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, though, hopefully it's roads or black water. Right. <laughs> Preferably that. I met your husband. Told him, and I'm gonna tell you the same thing. If you need anything, you telegram me, okay? Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's. Uh... No. It's a strange feeling, but not one I want to dwell on right now. I suppose. I feel selfish to think about it. Breathe. Hey. Okay. That's one. Howdy. How you doing? I like the Pirelli's doing the Undertaker stuff, man. Hmm. 
Overton. Howdy. Thanks for being out there. All right, good. Howdy, Jones. Yes. I know, dude. Her gun, dude. Her gun, too, bro. Um, darling, I, I know this is a bit tough, but, um... Dude, I love how Pop doesn't even go and put on all black for a service. While the service is taking place, and then... No, that's fine. I, whatever he thinks. I think we're just going to have them power the Oh my god, just wearing dark brown, red, or blue shirt, brown. Fits him so well, too, man. Claus had said that there would be a few words here, mm. and then we, we will. The law will assign people to lift the coffins into, into the wagon to bring them over to you. Do you, do you want to relay this over to him just so he has a clear idea? Um, yes, yes, it's fine. I think he's here in, he's here in body, but not in spirit. <laughs> I imagine we're gonna need a, no way a few of us to carry the coffins. Way. I don't know if Klaus spoke to anybody. No fucking way he's uh, finished he for his stipend on clothes. Well, I believe he had four. And now he's gonna need eight. Bro, he just has, he has basically the same outfit on, I see him in the same shit every day. It, it looks so similar. All of his outfits look good, but they look so fucking similar, man. His outfits fit his character really fucking well. To be honest. Uh, <laughs> Did Monroe just start dancing?
I'm right here. I'm here. Um, when I, um, <laughs> I was wondering if, uh, if you would have mind leading the, um, the funeral place. Oh, sure. When, um, I was, um, I was meant to have my grandmother do it, Mrs. Geese, but, um, she, uh, she got a heart attack last night, so... Oh my um, god! She's in a coma and oh I, my can't, um, I can't have her do it, so... I'm... I think if you wouldn't mind just saying a few words and then... And then we can walk over to the, um... Oh to, to the grave and, um... Then if people would be happy to speak a few words... Yeah, of course. I so hard. <laughs> Thank you. Well, where do you where do you want me to stand? That may be just up here, if that's all right, and we can all move sure. in a little closer. Sure. Everybody can move in a bit closer if you like. to take the spot at the top. When, when, when do you want me to start? Now it's fine. Whenever you're ready, I'm sorry to put this on you so, so suddenly. Well, um, first of all, I, um, want to thank you all for coming. First of all, I, um, I thought I was coming to Jane's memorial. Then I heard about the news about Plot. I don't want to put two people into one event, but I don't know what else to do right now, so uh, you'll have to forgive me. I'll start off with Jane. He's a fantastic senior deputy. An incredible detective. She certainly had a keen eye for detail and went above and beyond what the badge expected of her. Also got herself entangled in a lot of situations where even she shouldn't have been in money. She did it for the love of the people of the crossing. She was, um, certainly one of a kind. And Spengler, close. Another strong person, strong deputy. Valued everything that was placed in front of him. And no matter who you are or where you came from, I treat you all the same with the respect that you deserved.
I'm glad I gotta buy him a beer in the end. Thank you all for coming, and uh, I presume we'll be going to the body at the grave. Yes. Um, Klaus had um, had arranged for a gun salute. I'm not sure who was in charge of that, but um, I'm sure you know yourselves, and whoever is part of that, uh, I am. Um, I didn't get a chance to talk to him about it. He, he was doing the gun salute. He did but send me you... a telegram. Something we can sort out. Don't worry. All right. Thank you. Um, I'm not sure where you think the white purpose for that would be. But it's up to you. I want Leo to get up and stay, and stay when he's like, yeah. How could something so tragic be? Oh, so simple. Yes, the end. Yes. <laughs> That's perfect. Thank you. Come on. Thank you. Um. If you like, then we can all walk over to the grave your door if you'd like to do the salute before whatever you think is right. Let's go to the grave first. What? Did you please walk with me? Have you got the torches for people? I do, just um, we don't um, have Klaus had said, Klaus had said that there was um, a German military um, Tradition sometimes that people would carry torches as they march, and um, for those who would like it, there are eight torches, so you can choose who would like to carry a torch. And um, we can head over to the graveyard, gather on foot, please. Did he have the torches here? Oh, oh you might have. Uh be able to have the anybody oh. who wants a torch coming up? I would like one, please. I would like one. Uh, as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Judy. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Stay strong, Shinobu. We are so proud of you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'll do my best. Of course. I can't believe Spangler's dead, man. Hold on, let me just stop. Lady on off. Must be some hands. Ah, ah. Holy fuck. <laughs> That's you my goddamn it. sheriff, baby. Oh, do you need a moment? That's my fucking sheriff, <laughs> man. I think it's just stuff. <laughs> we have, uh, we have Holy more. shit! Someone would like to. Hello, Kenny. Thank you. Thank you. Do you, need, do you want to carry one? What? <laughs> I'll carry one. Would you carry the other then? Yeah, I will.
Bangler and Ripley. Oh! We can walk towards the graveyard together. <laughs> and as we I walk, promise. I might ask that for those of you who are carrying a torch, that you please remember that going forward, please keep the light that we're playing in class brought into the crossing alive. Of course. Carry with you every day. And please make them part every day on duty. Didi, can you please come with me? Heart just ran. Why is it taking care of me? Hello. How are you? I've had my ups and downs. Literally. This is a joke. Yeah. I'm glad you're okay. I am not okay. But I will get closer to okay. Yeah. I would say the same to you. What do the doctors say about your recovery? I uh, said I'm on light duty. And I said, uh, Goodness. said I got no signs of infection. Apparently, I this stopped is good. breathing last night. That is not good. <laughs> yeah. And yet here you are. Yeah. I probably shouldn't be here, but I wanted to. Make sure I can. I may be rushing things myself. <laughs> and we have lost them. Yeah, Saints I... Crossing Sheriff's Department. <laughs> the best in the biz. <laughs> I think they're in here to the left. I'm sure they are. I saw somebody turn this way. I suppose you should try the other end of the cemetery. I could have sworn I saw somebody turn down this way. Really? Maybe they're around a the corner. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I think. Mm. Hmm. 
Nope. Shit. Well, what about the... <laughs> let's get back before yeah. we miss it. <laughs> this is a. It, it can't be that big. <laughs> no, we must be able to. Oh, I see. Find I, see I see. I see. I see. West. Oh, good. Exactly. Ahead. I just had a few words to say to both uh, Jane and Klaus. Ripley, while we never grew to know each other more personally, I admired the work you did, and I'm honored to have been able to share some cases together in the final month. You care for not only the duty to protect the crossing, but for the people who stood by your side with the same mindset and the same goals. It was incredible to see. I thank you also for trusting in me on some of the cases we worked together. Your service to us will never be forgotten. And I hope you rest well alongside your dearest beloved. Oh my god, it's Jabez! House. <laughs> Sorry, I was making a joke about the, he cap the divine is capitalized. How sad I am of your passing. We learned together throughout our time in the department. And now I feel as though I have not only lost a fellow co-worker, but a friend as it's well. It's your pussy! <laughs> I enjoyed solving cases together with you, and I felt safe with you watching my back during the intense encounters we've gone through together. We both experienced our successes, and talked through our failures. Thank you for being that friend to me. I will miss your company, and I hope you rest well, my dear friend. Both Klaus and Ripley shared the same time and shift that I would often be around. I remember when I first met Ripley, and this is well before I was a deputy and I was scared shitless all. Ferocious. No, she did. I got my badge and started to warm up to her. I realized she had one of the biggest hearts. I started sharing patrols and doing amongst the many other things together we're out on duty. My biggest regret is not getting to know her enough. As for Klaus, Klaus was a brother to me. I spent a lot of time with Klaus. Again, sharing the same shift. He's always around and telegram me every day. Not yesterday I was out west with him by my side, knowing that he was ready for battle. He was ready to go against anybody that stood in our way. I've got many fond memories of both of them. And I'll do all I can to carry him proudly, in my own heart and in my own mind. I'm sure we will all do the same. No, I don't get to say goodbye to either of them. Rest in peace. I'm sure we'll meet again someday.
I didn't have a chance to get to know um, Deputy Ripley as much as I did Klaus, but uh, I think it's safe to say that despite their uh, differences, uh, which they may have had, they were a match made for each other and in heaven. They shared a lot of values, which I'm sure many of you here do as well. A dedication to protect the crossing and its citizens and a love that can't be quelled even despite not being here in the physical world. And while we're all here on this snowy day to pay homage to their memory, I, I think we can all safely agree that their passing doesn't mean we've lost who we are. We may have lost them, their kindness, their love, their strength, their compassion, their passion for their job, but their spirits live on in all of us. And as a citizen of the crossing, I ask all, all of you to please bear that in mind, in, in your minds and hearts every day. Keep yourself safe. The crossing seems to be losing a lot of valuable people and we can't afford to lose any more good people whether it is to circumstance or to the actions of evil men. <sighs> Juniper, Didi, you are not alone. Everybody here is a testament to those present and those who can't even be here. <sighs> that Klaus and Deputy Ripley left a huge impact in everyone and they will never be forgotten. Now, we lay these people down to sleep. We pray the Lord their souls to keep. Guide and guard them through this night. And wake them up at resurrection's light. Amen. Amen. Been around this county a long time. Owen Ripley, a long time. Klaus, a long time. They both bore the brunt of some of my frustrations. And they carried it well. They steered me. They gave me good advice. They may not know it. I've always had an eye on their backs. They're some of the few that would be up bright and early every day. Smile on their face or not, they get on with the fucking job. I'm sure we all have different beliefs. Where I come from, they're still going to be walking these streets behind us. Nudging me down an alley here and an alley there. The law will be enforced by them even in their absence. Just as it was when they were here with us. Tragedies. We've seen them all. It's a tough county we live in, and there's a lot of big hearts, they can't be replaced when they're gone, but there'll be another, and another, and their light will shine on, we'll keep burning, and it will keep kicking.
Detective Ripley and Deputy Spangler were the first people who got me through my first day when I was a cadet. And they put me through some tests that I wasn't expecting to get on my day, but the strong will of those people spread into my soul. And actually, I felt much more confident with each time I was seeing them. Detective Ripley is an amazing person who had a strong heart, strong will inside of her that was always moving. She always wanted to help out. She was there no matter what, and she might have been a little bit restricted, but she was always, always there no matter what. Klaus is an amazing, incredible person with wonderful talents and such big a warm heart. The loss of Ripley was really hard on all of us, and I can't imagine how hard it was for Klaus, Didi, and Juniper to hold this bear on their shoulders, and this strong will in their hearts will be spreading to everyone here. I'm sure that wherever they are right now, they are together, and their souls may be forever together, and they will be always happy. I will be always grateful and thankful for everything that they taught me, for every single second I spent with them. I didn't get to know them for a long time, but every single moment I will share in my heart and will make sure to make them proud, not only with my actions, but also with the people surrounds me and I know that they have a big impact on each and every one here spreading their words and warm feelings right inside of your hearts and if that doesn't mean that they had a part of their lives inside of us then I don't know what that means I will be forever grateful to both of you because Billy Blunders make a cameo in this to all of your friends, to everybody here. Please stay strong, whatever you are, and don't forget that I will be always here for you. Share your word all across. A blimp lands, and Billy Blunders gets off the blimp. <laughs> I'm glad it's not fall anymore, says Billy Blunder, says he lands in the hot air balloon. Yeah, then Monroe just shoots him. Is there anybody else would like to see? If not, maybe would you like to go? Man, Kennedy. Unless somebody else would like to. Kennedy really, really shot me at the worst time. Come here. Okay. Not you, Ollie. You okay? You come over here every chance you get, Ollie. I. You, you, for once, you gotta let the kitty come. For once, you gotta let. For once, you gotta. What, really? Did you just nibble? Did you just get a little nibble? Really? Really? Okay. There we go, boy. Ollie. This has been a really sad funeral. Get it. It's a bit difficult. 
Yeah, but I feel like this one's extra sad because Spengler died the day of his wife's funeral. I, uh, so. Is to have a book of our best. Me and Junior, we went to choir. And, um, at the end of it, I was really scared to sing. But at the end of it all, they looked so proud. They were so proud. I could hear them cheering me for all of us. And I really, really appreciate all of these them. So, me and Junie, we wanted to sing because. No, it's sad. They just looked so happy. I'm taking the music off so you can hear. my love she hides away like a crow Ooh, does she know that we bleed the same Ooh, don't wanna cry but don't break that way gold sheets oh is my love I am Bro. searching high, I'm searching low. This is so sad. In a does she know that we bleed the same? Oh, don't wanna cry, but I break that way. And she's a really nice singing voice. Thank you. 
Yo, Yella, shut up, bro. <laughs> it's so true, though. Bro, it's so true. Yella, the... Dude, Leo really is the type of bozo to, to, to go to a girl's parent's double funeral and say, want to go get a drink? Hey, I know your parents just died. Do you need a do you, do you need somebody else to comfort you? Let's go get a drink. Am... Leo's such a bozo, bro. I know most of you. I'm sure that you probably had some stories about me from my playing class. Um when I first came to the crossing, I wasn't I wasn't a good person. I am um, was your parents uh did you love them <laughs> and when i met class in my play, <laughs> I did something that your parents did you love them it's incredibly difficult and they um they changed my life they they did my life that was going down a very dark path and they changed the trajectory of it. They gave me something to strive for. They um they showed me what a strong person looks like, what a good deputy looks like. They um they gave me so much kindness. They gave me words of Wisdom. Leo would totally do that, Clint. They just they gave me a home. They um they really became a family to me. And um I never expected I never expected that they would choose for me to be part of their family. But they did. And, um, they know that all of you are part of that family too. I made a promise to Ripley, to Glass, and to Deputy Marlowe that I'm going to try my best to be a good person. Not those three are dead. To be a lawful person. And to make them part in any way that I can. And I intend to make that happen. I mean, I, I mean, if she breaks her word, it don't matter if they're dead, right? I wish that I could have spent more time with you both. Sorry, I gotta add a little bit of dry humor here, chat. If like, go back, it's been so sad. I would have spent all of the time that I had making you only part. I have a lot of regrets already. I'm going to try my best not to let you down. I asked Glass if I could take what please surname. And um, he said yes. And I believe it's something she would have wanted. I am. Um, I know that I could never live up to them. I could never be what they were to everybody. But I'm going to try my best to, to keep her legacy alive in any way that I can. It's closed gasket, right? Like, um, that was a long way to fall. It's gotta be closed gasket. I'm going to try sing a song gasket. as well, if that's all right.
I think Slack's got AFK kicked. It's the <laughs> Slack's got AFK kick, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. I get free drinks? Dude, this is great. Drink scotch. Mm -hmm. Oh! Wait, that's a Tuesday. I should grab Malone a bourbon, but taking a bourbon. What is dead tides, shall never please. die. If everyone can rise the tide. If we can all rise the tide. Those of you who are part of the gun salute, I'm sure you know where and where, where and when. So to to do that, so I'll let you take over. Yep. Yeah. Um, Stone, Edison, Sand, Freya. Sullivan, Bolton. Uh, 
I need one more. I don't have a rifle, sir. Yeah, you can take mine. It's got my name on it. I ain't got a rifle either. I'm not special, man. I have rifle. I got, on a, me. I got a spare rifle. Yeah. I have a spare rifle. Well, it's not spare. Thank you. If I could ask everybody else just to go over that side, please. I need one more. Heart ran away. Somebody with a rifle, preferably. <laughs> I guarantee you somebody's not thinking friendly up there, right, chat? Somebody's gotta be not thinking friendly. What's the over-under on if everybody's thinking friendly? Leo's not here to rem Dude, what if Leo wakes up to an AFK kick and gets shot? He spawns back in and just gets fucking blasted. <laughs> that would be so goddamn funny. Atticus. Deputies of the same squad of Sheriff Department, present your arms. Take aim up into the air. On my command, you will fire three shots into the air. Fire. Gotta add that one to the training checklist. It's alright. Thank you. I think it would be fire. Fire. For those who'd like to, um, please feel free to take more of the drinks or we could bring them to the Bastille. Don't mind if I do. I understand most of you have to you get back to duty oh, yeah. now. Do you need something? Yes. But I, I sincerely thank you for coming. I know that Ripley and Klaus I love you all very <laughs> much. They'll be forever missed. They will. Yep. <laughs> Come back to the office. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus, is there a dog fight happening? <laughs> I mean, look, to be fair, it does look like that with the atmosphere. <laughs> I won't, I won't lie. It does look like that with the atmosphere.
You're gonna sit in that office and rest now, right? Most likely. Good. Excuse me, sir. Leo forgot he had a date at 7.25, and he had to run to go make his date. Oh my god, is that Slacks? Oh my god, that's actually Slacks. Right? Reminding me of my parents. Oh. Uh, looking at a girl. Uh, talking about losing people she loved. I couldn't finish. I had to leave. Get somewhere quiet. So I started drinking in the bench. Uh, what if you all to be done? How are you holding up now? Uh, a little better. Alcohol is definitely helping. Yeah. Uh, what about y'all? I'll admit I feel a little better now leaving the cemetery. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> As you all have a, a good night, I'm gonna rest my head for a few hours here. All right, Bolton. Uh, please be safe. And uh, congrats again. <coughs> Thank you. Just congrats again uh, on your promotion. I appreciate it. Just be careful. There's scheming being done. I don't want anyone here hurt. Yeah, I'm like Wallaby, the kid is up to no good. Wallaby, yeah. the kid. All right. Stay safe. Oh, we can walk to the sheriff's office. I was just waiting for y'all. <laughs> God damn it, man. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ew. <laughs> slow down the wagon. Slow down the wagon in the city. Uh, slow it down. Oh my, that is Captain Henderson. I thought that's who that was. Uh, Who's that? Uh, oh, um, the most notorious pirate in the crossing. You don't love him. Hmm. Uh, imagine, 
How do I describe them? I'm trying to think. Oh, uh, you know that fella named Sonny with the trumpet? Yeah, I know Sonny. Uh, take him and turn him into a pirate. That's who um, Henderson is. Oh, God. This is kind of a peaky point yourself, but I'll give it to you, Chip. It seemed like everybody left in the knee. The Chenzo outfit? Why? Nah, there ain't much fashion over there, okay? I don't think it's gonna last long. I think the only person I actually see wear a turtleneck in the uh, I wonder what all these is Leo. He pulls it off pretty Something well. Something with an explosion, actually. it seems like, or fire. fire. He actually pulls it off a turtleneck pretty well. Unless he plans on robbing the bank in San Denis, I can't think of anything else. Well, that they... There's blueprints a report of a blonde woman looking at blueprints encasing the bank. I'm sure that's probably Missy. I see. Oh god, I gotta think. I'm trying to get a song, man. I'm trying to get a song. Ruth, you alright? Fuck. 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 <laughs> I'm trying to get... I'm trying to get a song. <laughs> what this will have to do? I was getting a Peaky Blinder song. Yeah, I just got weak for a second. All right, you're scaring me. Uh, you know, there's no shame in admitting you need help. Yeah, I know that. I hope you do. <laughs> Look who's fucking talking. Howdy, y'all. Hearts back, but at the bar. My man. That's my fucking sheriff, man. There were a few deputies I didn't know back there. Which ones? Uh, that fellow with the repeating shotgun. The white shirt behind us. That's Stone. Yeah, never met him before either. Oh. He's a senior deputy, times. apparently. Yeah. An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. And I know the truth. He's usually awake. Very early. Howdy. Howdy. Howdy, Sheriff Hart. How you doing, sir? Yeah, not so bad. That new bottle looks so bad. Yeah. You, uh, you got someone looking after you? Yeah, I got a lot of people looking after me. Probably more than he'd like. <laughs> yeah, because he won't do it himself. That's what this department's based on, right? People looking out for each other. Yep. Stranger <sighs> This, uh, first funeral for the department you've been to. I went to, uh, I went to Wallace's when I was a cadet. I'll be I'm honest, I wish one. I could say it was your last. Anybody know when Wilkins' funeral is going to be? Oh, whether his, uh, his body would have been released to his next of kin, so I don't know if he had next of kin. Yeah, not, if not, not we can take care of it. I'm gonna change real quick. Alright. I don't know if we stay up this late. 
Somebody thinks I'm gonna fuck with my fate. I can think twice. Why do I read, read Stump's telegrams in his voice? Yeah, I, I do the same. So I'm always the same way. I'm, I'm um, the same he's way. He's always shouting. Yeah. Who's? Oh, Cadet Stump. Have you met him before? Who's Stump? Yes. Know that. You know when you're in silence and you can hear that subtle noise in the background no matter where you are? That's, that's Stump. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're not wrong, sir. <laughs> I have a question about releasing Charlie Nelson. Question. Hey. I have Come positive here, identification that he's sure. one of the torturers on one of my cases. He has I was trying to give this to you. Okay, then uh, you could always use the boat ride to question him. I know you like scotch. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. I'm gonna drink this right now. Yeah, I got a bourbon. Close and Jane, eh? Hey. The doctors know. <sighs> oh, that's good. Yeah. It's been a while. Do I just charge him right in Cisco? I don't even let yeah, him Yeah, I, I would, yeah. Okay. I would yeah. question him first just in case he's got an alibi, but. That is the wrong thing? How do I. Where is it at? It's over here. That's what I was looking for. In my gun oil. Stay safe. And you. You as well. I have to go to the stable. Stompin' Valentine! Heading to Rhodes! <laughs> it's not arrived at Rhodes yet. Stump in Blackwater! Peaches is here! Mills also here! Asking about deputies! He's missing a head! <laughs> I think he's dead! He's not from Baltimore. A guitar and firewood. That is very strange. Hey, anybody want cigarettes? I got nine spare. Yeah, I'll I'm take a couple. Of... It seemed like they found arson supplies behind the Sydney <laughs> Bank. Uh, the girl is Missy. Uh, suspect was surveying the Sydney Bank from across the street. Appreciate it, thank you. Yeah, the same group was 
riding around in an oil tanker yesterday as well. Yeah. I did check the oil tanker. It was empty, but... Don't know what they're up to. It's nothing good, that's for sure. Goddamn, bro. The entire first page is just bulletins. So, uh, at least in the San Denis office, this is the tip line over here. Oh, yeah, that's it, I know. Right? Mm-hmm, I know. All right. Audi. So, you, Audi. you know how to do a citizen file? Do you, what else do you know how to do? Um, well, I'm, I already have a report that I need to fill out, to be honest. Okay. Yeah, um, so. I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's go over actually, here because they're, they're mm -hmm. right. Yeah, yeah, that would be better. What's the date today? Uh, 12th, sir. 12th of November. Hmm. I just like the senior bulletin board. And there's like stuff in here. Just be, um, just be ready. There's a report that I can't discuss, but you might have some information. Uh, regarding the wallaby incident or what? Mm -hmm. I see. What do you think? Be on your guard. I don't know, but it might be something to do with that bank. Whatever is happening, it's been preparation for something. Got of information that that whatever is happening might be today. Oof. All right, we'll be ready. You think they can attempt to send any bank? That's how it sounds. Well, if that goes off, you're staying here. I'm just gonna go use the outhouse. Right. Or the bus, whichever comes first. Oh, stump, howdy. Hey, Stump. Come inside. This is the quietest I've ever heard Stump. I like his winter outfit a lot, man. How you doing uh, today, Stump? Oh, uh, you have to shout in his ear. Hey, uh, Stump! Yeah? Uh, how are you? Oh, I'm doing quite well. Ran <laughs> into good. Peaches a while back. How was that? Wasn't in a position to take her in. <laughs> she was in Blackwater about, uh, I'd say, 40 minutes ago, 20. Who knows? <laughs> uh, rings wanted? Well, yesterday I put a guy in Sissica for 300 days for helping her get away. Oh, she's wanted for multiple things. Wow. I sent in a tip, but I couldn't find anyone. Holy shit, she has over a thousand days. Oh, it's because of the torture of a peace officer and kidnapping of a peace officer. What happened with that? Wait, uh, Benny got kidnapped? She helped. <laughs> she helped? I had to drag Benny out of New Austin myself. <laughs> 
she pretends to be some nice girl that doesn't like the law, but instead all she does is hurt law. All right, Irene. Next time I see you, I'll make sure I throw you in the slammer. <laughs> That's the spirit. I uh, will find him. Don't worry. But right now, um, we just received a tip uh, regarding a possible job inside Saint Denis, involving uh the dead end kids. Uh, unsure exactly what's going on. All we got told is I uh, think just... I just saw them. They're at their slaughterhouse right now. Wallaby and them. You saw I them. believe so. Uh, Deputy Marshal. Uh, Stump over here. He said he just saw a wallaby in them outside of Saint Denis. They're at the okay. slaughterhouse. Okay. Are there any of them? That's what I'm going. Say that again. Up. I'm looking it up now. They're at their slaughterhouse. They're at the slaughterhouse. Okay. The place where I investigated the scene of their gunfight the other day. <laughs> their gunfight. Yes, they They're were gun exchanging fighting. gunfire with someone. A few of them were very badly hurt. I was in charge of labeling the evidence. Edwin Braithwaite. And there were shells everywhere. We didn't even oh, bother still, picking up on. the ones without without fingerprints on them. Uh, Edwin Braithwaite's wanted, sir. Um, sorry, I was just 200 days. Uh, it says in this report as well, I don't... I don't I, Alvin Castor is also wanted for 200 days. I don't. And then Mr. Conrad. Well, there was a whole bunch of them. Okay. Okay. I don't believe Eastwick's wanted right now. I, I'm not seeing any. All of his latest reports are incident reports. So I'm trying to find one that. See if he's wanted in anything. It's a pleasure meeting you. Yes, well, yeah, yeah, I will be. All right. If they're planning something, mm -hmm. they're planning something with that. So yeah, sure. If they're planning something with that bank. Yeah, thank you. You take care, right? No worries. Thank you. Might be best place to trap them. The bank? Uh, yeah, the bank. What? Why the would bank? we want to do that? Have you been inside the slaughterhouse? Yes! It's like a fucking cheese grater. It's abandoned, too. No civilians. Oh, Jesus. You're not wrong about the whole civilian thing. Process, process, leave, process. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, howdy, I can hear you now. You got an oil tanker leaving town, heading past the uh, slaughterhouse. Oh, that must be a dead end kid. Heading where? Just leaving town right now, about a minute ago. I don't know if you have enough to go after him right now. No, I don't think we do either. I see six people here. Uh, Ruth is injured. Um, I'm on light duty. Uh, Ruth is injured. Dead. Those two are. Uh, we got five, five at most. Doing training. The, the doctor said I could push myself if needed. I don't think you should. Yeah, I second that. Okay. So I think for right now, we hold. Maybe go on to the streets. Just keep our presence. If they're coming into the city, we all converge on the sheriff's office. And then we figure out the next step. Uh, you want a telegram sent? As I was going to say, I, I was going to go check telegrams. I could send out a request for deputies to St. Denis. It's up to you, though, Monroe. I don't know how many you'd want here. Um, we should only have six. Okay. Well, I can leave after I send out a request if you want. That way, uh, since I'm not going to be responding since I'm injured. Uh, you should take a with you as well, too. Yeah, take stump. All right. All right. I think we have some deputies in town. So do you want me to telegram or do you want me to go grab them and bring them back here? I, think... I go grab them, bring them back here. All right. Hart and Burks are waiting at the telegram in case uh, 
They're needed, but I believe they're about to go on a transport. Their transport won't take too long, so. All right, then I'm not going to send a telegram. I'm just going to yeah, we'll go. Yeah, uh, I'll go update them. I'll go with you. Stump, you got a horse. Yes! Where's your horse? Oh, what did senior deputy go? Alright. He's right here! I don't see him. Oh, no. He uh, was on the other side of the horse! I don't see him. Oh, no! Uh, it's about to get ugly. Ah, uh, this Hi, is... Uh, yeah, yeah this is in town. Me and Parker are gonna leave. We're going to Blackwater, Pops. You wanna go with us? We're going to right. Black... Okay. I'm gonna show, uh, Go to the telegram station first. I'm gonna show uh, Parker what what treasure hunting is so that she oh. has a understanding of what of what the the case she's working on is. She there's somebody found a hand in a in a in a metal box and I want to explain to her. Uh, oh, I, I see. That, that it's okay. just a prank. <laughs> okay. Why? <hello>? I, I, <laughs> You know, Deputy Parker's pretty smart, but sometimes... <laughs> yes, Tom? <laughs> I, I mean, finding a hand in a box probably would be worrying. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it is kind of worrying that people always find those. Yeah, that, no, I agree. Who's putting them there? Do you think and so? why? Why does somebody keep doing the same prank in all these metal boxes? Where are they getting the hands? <laughs> Do you think it's like, uh, do you think it's like some undertaker somewhere? Well, then there's a bunch of people with, uh, very strange open casket <laughs> funerals. Buried with their hands in their pockets. <laughs> he looks almost like when he was alive, except that his hands are in his pockets. So what's with the color palette? It's a funeral. The mood seems heavy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I, yeah, it's, it's a little heavy. You know where deputies are right now, or is it? Uh, is everybody and their mother in St. Denis? I went from town to town looking for a single deputy. Did Mills get and his I gun only back? found them here. I saw your tip. Did Mills get his gun back? I was the only one in town. If he was supposed to get his gun back, I don't know about it. All right, let's go to Blackwater and telegram Mills to meet us there. All right. This is your horse, right?
Also, this is probably a bad time to mention I'm on somebody's list. And, uh... Danger. I can barely hold a gun. That man is riding his horse <laughs> very strangely. How, how you doing, sir? No, no, I just arrived through town, and over by the small house, there's a bunch of people in masks with an oil tanker. I would be wary. All right. I, I see. Take us to the sheriff's office. Wonderful. Is that a husky? Was, uh, was that man riding his horse European style for you? Yeah, yeah, he was. <laughs> That's rip, what rip, I'm rip, calling rip. that now. Hey! Rip! Rip! Hey! Hey! Rip! Hey! <laughs> He's a man on a mission. His horse is faster than ours. Yeah. We, we just go to the sheriff's office. Ever, can I fire my gun in the air? No, no, you can't. We can go to the sheriff's office. I, I got the whistle. No, they no, sheriff's office. Make the left. Just make the left. I'll tell Monroe. Okay. Oh, fuck! That didn't look good! <laughs> oh, it didn't. <laughs> Something fucked is going on! Oh. What the fuck is oh, happening? Shit. We need to just go. Let's okay, just get the black water. We're leaving! <laughs> I, I would be very grateful if you didn't include any of this last episode on our report. <laughs> look, look, I'd appreciate it if you don't include include any of it either. This is my first 24 I, hours I, as a senior I, deputy. So <laughs> I can't believe you got promoted before. I, oh my god! What is fucking happening? <laughs> We gotta go! <laughs> Let's just leave the crossing. Oh, we fo we'll there was somebody following life. us! <laughs> Fuck! Oh! <laughs> I'm just gonna fucking sprint. I don't know if that's the guideline. Fuck, the horse is almost out of energy. <laughs> I think he stopped I don't following mean to us. Alarm we can rest. You. We can rest the horse. We can rest the horse. <laughs> okay, calm down, Kiri. That was the most people with guns I've ever seen in that city, too. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that oil tanker really came out of nowhere. I'm just glad we aren't under it. Yeah, yeah. Or we didn't explode if we hit it. You feel like you can work on anything as a cadet, or you think you're ready for the badge? I think I'm pretty ready for the badge. I've started... Well, I know... I don't want to sound arrogant, but I know the protocol now. <laughs> I've been on a lot of ride-alongs, and I've seen how police work is done firsthand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've, uh... Run from outlaws, I've sent messages. I've done all the bank trainings. The negotiation trainings. The horse training. <laughs> you know how to fire a But gun. I had an opportunity to take Peaches in this morning. She was alone in a telegram office. And I could just send a tip to a bunch of deputies who were four towns away. <laughs> I want to help people, sir. That's why I joined the force. I'm not a killer. <laughs> I'll fire to defend myself and others. 
I... I need to serve the public good. Because the only way we get anywhere... Fighting the darkness that exists within all of us... Is cooperation. And trust. Empathy and compassion are the only paths to tomorrow. <laughs> and all the people of this crossing, they are abused by these criminals. You sure you don't read a lot of Edgar Allan Poe? Don't bring up his name around me again. <laughs> Style? Why are we coming to a stop? Oh, he's feeding the horse. <laughs> what kind of horse is this? This is a loner. <laughs> you got a horse in mind for when you get your horse stipend? I don't really know anything about horses. I was planning on asking a superior officer. What do you ride? I've got four horses. Um, I started on a Turkoman. Uh, then I, uh... Well, actually, I started on a Mustang. I bought it as a cadet. Uh, served me well. Very good horse. Uh, then when I became a deputy, I bought a Turkoman. Turkoman's okay. Rides alright. Uh, and then... Molly, uh, she she gave me two horses, uh, one before she passed, and one I received about 30 minutes after she passed. And uh, those were uh, one's a uh, fox trotter, good horse, and the other is the one I currently ride all the time, the big fucking horse, Hungarian half bred. I see. So I should probably be looking for a Turkoman. Dependable and economical? They're yeah, they're big. They're they're a good horse. Um a lot of folks ride them in the department too. I would say the two horses I was recommended to as a cadet were Fox Trotter or Turkoman. I like both, I prefer a Fox Trotter. But I ride the Hungarian half friend. Uh, it's Sheriff Carter's old horse. Uh, I love it. It's my favorite horse I've ever ridden. However, and I've seen this firsthand, I've been told this several times, almost every Hungarian half-bred is fucking terrible at keeping up. For some reason, Sheriff Carter's is great. It keeps up. Hell, I had to slow down for folk all the time. But I guess it's an old sheriff's horse, so it's been, it's been worked a lot, so it's used to it. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, I think I'll start on something, something that can get me out of trouble. These past few days, I've heard a lot about deputies getting kidnapped. I've dragged a few out of the desert myself. Cask, like, like, like a cask. No. <laughs> he was stabbed in the stomach and left in a box. Like a cask. That <laughs> I thought you were implying casket. I completely <laughs> forgot about Amontillado. I put it from my mind. <laughs> along with the rest of the works of Edgar Allan Poe. <laughs> who was a hack. <laughs> Died in the street like a dog. <laughs> badly. Holy fuck. Holy 
fuck, bro? Well, I guess he's never more. Never more. <laughs> Send in a tip that we both arrived. All right. How do I spell your last name again? R U T H. <laughs> right. I forgot if it was with an O. No, you're thinking of Roche. I'm I'm Ruth. Ruth. Yeah. There she is. Who is? Howdy! How's everyone doing? We're doing okay. good, Stomp. I'm just waiting for a wagon so I can load these. these uh... Is it Stomp or Stomp? Yep, it's Stomp. Stomp, we're doing good, Stomp. And I don't Keeping remember busy? your name, Deputy. Chair, Mr. Uh, Sir. Senior Deputy Ruth. Senior Deputy Ruth, okay. That should be easy to remember because my granny's name is Ruth. You see anything suspicious today? Uh, mm. I always see suspicious stuff. Every day, every day I see something suspicious. Like earlier, uh, there were a fella, there were actually three fellas here in town, and they all was on a wagon, and they was lined up like they was fixing to go racing. Uh, one of them was kind of weird he had a little bit of a stutter and then the other one he kept on asking me for money his name was uh billy i think billy yeah billy he kept, yeah he kept on asking me for money and billy uh, Bob. i told him why well, i gave you money yesterday and he said i don't remember that and then so then he wanted <laughs> some more money and this and that and the third so i just uh gave him another couple dollars and he went on his way well you but, get all uh, this i'll go to the tip yeah, they, mm -hmm. they took off out of here quick, you know. Uh, how you doing? Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you? Oh, good, thank you. I just, because I've been talking to people and I'm replying, I expect they're busy, but I just wanted to check in case my beautiful dulcet tones could not be heard. Thank you for replying. Yeah, have a nice bro. night. You have a nice oh, night. Oh, fucking hell. What the fucking telegram? Oh. Yeah, take it easy, love. Hello. I see. She she daydreams a lot. Hey, yeah. Hey, Stump, I gotta go to the office real quick. All right. Well, I'm just about done here. All right. Have a wonderful day, fellas. Uh huh. Y'all take care. You too. You, you all too. stay safe. Did you see that blizzard earlier? Oh, it's crazy. It was oh. snow. Blizzard. Hope you guys are staying warm. <laughs> Who, 
Who was Something that? was off about her. Who is that? I don't think that was Peaches, but she wouldn't talk and she was wearing the same clothes Peaches was wearing earlier, so it could be Peaches. But I don't think so. But maybe. <laughs> but oh, there was like definitely... If that's, if that's Peaches, was... I feel like, uh... I feel like if I try to bring her in, she's gonna shoot me. Right. I'm gonna keep walking to the station, you'll catch up. That being I mean, you walk faster than me right now. Since I'm she injured. was, as soon as you walked away, mm -hmm. I really noticed how she wouldn't meet our gaze. <laughs> She had something, something to hide, something she was feeling guilty for. Maybe she, I don't know. I mean, I, you said she was dressed the same. Yeah, there's a few pink deputies shirt, that arrive. White pants. I'll, 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 me and a couple other deputies will go over and try getting her to speak. How you doing? Howdy! Now, could you go down there and tell them I'm coming? There. Hello! The senior deputy's almost here. What did you do to him, Stomp? I threw him off a cliff. He didn't. <sighs> For insulting my mother. <laughs> I never insulted Reasonable. his mother. <sighs> How are you? How uh, doing better. I'm doing better in yourself. Yeah, I feel like shit, but I'm hanging in there. Let me go get your weapon. Wait a minute. All right. Hello. <laughs> Long time no see. No senior. That guy's the senior deputy. I'm a cadet. Well, I don't know the financial plan. They really don't have a packet for this job. Do I get benefits? Who knows? I was a lumber inspector for 19 years. They knew I was on the level. Okay. Congratulations on uh, the senior deputy position. Yeah, thank you. Ruth, can I talk to you one-on-one -on -one for a second? Yeah. Where you wanna go? Just over here, it's fine. The other day, you were trying real hard to make sure we didn't get sent away. For starters, let me say, I appreciate that. I've told several deputies this. I don't go out of my way to 
quote unquote go after y'all it's just we lead two different types of lives and uh the other day i was just trying to get a message across but you were mighty courteous and you said you didn't have the seniority to make a call like that but now you do and i have a friend who's looking to turn herself in after she's done some bad things Who's looking to turn herself in? Not for sure yet, but she's considering it. Peaches. Okay. And uh, what did what does she want? If she were to turn herself in. Well, she had this whole idea of making a promise she won't go after y'all deputies anymore if her time was cut in a considerable way you know nothing too crazy but she thinks that she's about above a thousand days am i correct to assume so i believe i i haven't personally reviewed her file, but I believe she's pretty high up there at the moment. I don't know what exact deal she's looking for, but she gave me a list of deputy names that, quite frankly, I don't fucking know, and I could care less who they are. You and I, you, what you did for me the other day, what you did for Molly seem to really care about you. You're the only deputy I care to talk to at this point anymore. <laughs> oh, shit. I'll reach out to Peaches, see what exactly she wants. And how about I send you a telegram letting you know. You'll come in peacefully. What I try to do. All right. Let's go get some rest. Yeah. You look, you look like shit, Ruth. Honestly. Well, I got shot in the chest twice, so <laughs> happens to the best of us, I guess. You're one of the good ones. Don't let that department break you. I've seen it do done several times. Several times. All right, we'll be out of your hair now, so... A reason you got a gun out, sir. Son. Sir. The reason you got a Hello! gun out... Hello! Yeah, 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 I'm after a lawman. <laughs> what do you mean you're after a lawman? Hmm. How do I put this into a different lexicon? I'm after... a lawman. You can't do that, that's illegal! <laughs> Stump. Who the hell are you? I'm Cadet Ed Stump! Yeah, yeah, okay, Stump. Do me a favor. You're gonna love this one, right? Turn around. Take 20 steps. When you hit the ocean, carry on going. We'll see how far <laughs> you make it. <laughs> uh, is that you, Anderson? Naturally. Where's Jimothy? I mean, Jimothy. Where is he? Jimothy who? I oh, know you're protecting him. Doctor's office, law, hidden location, critical condition. I'm drawing a fucking picture here. Who the fuck is Jimothy? Seriously. Don't do this to me, son. <sighs> Dead end gang. Where is he? <laughs> Put the gun down. And we'll try to figure it out together. Okay. <clears throat> Put the gun on your back. I need to know where he is. Okay. 
I'm trying very hard to be a very good boy because I am a very good boy. When's the last time I committed a crime? It's been a fucking while. But yeah, someone been... hurt my fucking daughter. Right? And the law and the fucking doctor's office. They're keeping his location secret. And my God, I'm going to rain some fucking hellfire <laughs> down on that dead end fucking gang if I have to. Where is he? Look, look, look. I I don't know where the hell he is. And that's me being honest with you. I have not met this man in my fucking life. Okay. I understand. <coughs> Sorry. I understand losing losing someone you care about or somebody being hurt. There's nothing you can do about it. I I understand that. I understand. I get from where you're standing, you're probably going to sit there and tell me I don't. But truthfully, I do. It fucking sucks. It's the worst shit you can go through, and I get it. Every damn ounce of my existence oh, no. right now, son. <sighs> wants to burn someone to the fucking floor. Oh my god. <laughs> and I'm trying my very best to keep it together. Oh, trust me, I am. If someone went after my fucking daughter, which they fucking did, <laughs> I'm gonna raise some damn hell. Okay. I understand where you're, where you're where you're coming from about your daughter being hurt. How about I'm about, about, about you just take a deep breath. You tell me exactly everything you know, okay? I could try to help. No one will tell me, because no one will tell me where my fucking daughter is. Okay. And no one will tell me where the fucking bastards who hurt her are. Okay. I have just dragged myself from fucking warmer. And trust me, I thought maybe the anger would fucking subside on the boat journey over. And then I get to here. And I'm led down a fucking blind alley about 28 fucking times because no one fucking will tell me the truth. And I'm up to here and I'm about to fucking lose it. I'm about to fucking snap and burn someone's damn house down. I understand that you are going through something, you're emotional, and I understand you're saying exactly what you want to do to people, because you're hurt, okay? Please. Okay, well, who's your daughter? Let's start there. Who's your daughter? Captain Jojo. Jojo. Jojo Henderson? The same. Okay. Jojo Henderson. And how did you, how, how did you find out she was hurt? Flood told me something in Rhodes, and then I get a telegram from one of Jojo's friends. Telling me that she's in some sort of fucking hospital somewhere, with a damn tube being the only thing that she can take sustenance from. Okay, so you found out in Rhodes. Because you said you came all the way back from Guarma to find out. <laughs> so why'd you I... come back from Guarma then, if that's not the case? I heard rumors from a little shithead called Mimosa and Miss Amima. I don't fucking know, right, okay? Right, right. I'm just trying to understand everything. Okay, and so what are the details that you've been told so far? That that bastard Jimothy... <laughs> can hurt my daughter and that he's in critical care but no one knows where he is and that my daughter Jojo is hacked up to some fancy French automaton machine that's barely keeping her alive all right okay I, I understand I, I understand look I I mean this sincerely. 
I do not know Jimothy. I have never met him before. Okay. I understand that's not what you want to hear right now. I understand that right now, all you want to hear is answers. And you want to understand what happened to your daughter. I understand that completely. Do you know where <laughs> your daughter is, at least? Send any medical office. Okay. Now, I understand wanting to cause pain onto others. You shouldn't do that, though. And I, 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 I don't want to have to say this right now. But you shouldn't do that. Okay? What you should do is you should go to St. Denis, put the gun away. You should be by your daughter's side. Deep breath. Everything's gonna be all right. We just let a hatred and anger fuel everybody in this fucking world, and what's it mean? We're all gonna be angry fucking bastards going after each other. Take deep breaths. You love your daughter. I can tell you care about her. And if you love your daughter, which I know you do, you should go be by her side. Okay. For a very long time, I was retired. <laughs> I didn't do anything to anyone. I was a good fucking man. I was a reformed man. And I thought, just maybe, just fucking maybe, the fear that people used to have about me would stop them from doing anything fucking stupid to my daughter. <laughs> but how wrong I was, I've lost my edge. Oh, no, no one fucking scared of Anderson anymore. <laughs> it's the fucking drunk person. <laughs> <laughs> what would you deputy of the sun if the fucking sun crashed out of the sky in front of us right now what would you do would you say that's the end of the fucking world uh, if the sun fell out of the sky I don't know if I'd be able to say or do anything that, that ain't me trying to be a smart ass. I'm just genuinely trying to answer. Me personally, I'd be scared shitless. If I, yeah, if I survived, I'd be fucking afraid. I'm gonna load up a fucking house with so much dynamite. It's gonna be like the sun fucking crashed okay, right, right into right. the house. I need that information, Tiffy. And you're the only one who can get me some sort of leverage. <laughs> Look. Look. If you give me. Two minutes. I can look inside and try to find some fucking answers. I can't. I really can't guarantee anything. I need Two you to minutes. put that gun down, though. You need me to put the gun down? You want me to put my gun down? I got my gun out. I don't want to have my gun out. I can tell that you're going through some shit. You want me to put my gun down? Sir. Okay then. <laughs> oh. Sir. Magic. Uh. <laughs> <coughs> Fuck. Really? God fucking damn it. You deserve that. 
look at that. No gum. Magician. God fucking damn it. You really had to hit me. Really. Listen, son, I either took my anger out on you by hitting you or <laughs> something worse would have happened, huh? <laughs> Fair enough. I won't even fucking charge you. It's a wild old huh? <laughs> What'd you say? Nothing. No, say it. <sighs> no, come on, say it. Nah, I'm all right. No, you're all right. Hey, look at that. So I've got my gun away, and there's yours. You fucking hit me. You, you, you should be happy you're not in a goddamn cell. Want to see you try. You'd like to see Nothing. you try. <clears throat> no, no. Just, can you find that information I need? Put your hands up, Anderson. Really? I didn't say that. That's a joke. Look, if you're joking with me, can I not joke with you? Yeah, but I have gravitas. You have what? Gravitas. What is gravitas? I heard someone say it once. It sounded posh. It does sound posh. It does. Alright. Let me go look inside, okay? Keep the gun <laughs> away, though. It, it... I'm not gonna lie. You are a perfect stress toy. I might take you one day. You could be my perfect punching bag. <laughs> uh, relief. Instant. It's fantastic. I guess you've got one of those faces. Well, I'm, I'm glad that uh, I helped, okay? Let me mm -hmm. see if I can find anything, okay? Have you spoken to any medics? Yeah, if you need me, I'll be pissing off some fish. Okay. Literally. Brother. The fact that I'm alive right now is probably a fucking miracle. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Please tell me that's Debbie's. Howdy, howdy. <laughs> Come inside. What are you up to, Anderson? Nothing gives concern. Oh, nothing gives concern. Uh, howdy. Hello, Senior Deputy Ruth. <laughs> How are things here with Anderson? Got in trouble? I'm trying to come to an understanding. Yeah, doctor, look at you yet? 
Oh, come inside with me. Grab Rip 2. You want us inside to do and Rip? Yeah. Uh, it's not looking good. He struck me. Henderson did. Yeah. He's going through some shit. I ain't gonna charge him. Alright. Hey, I'm lucky to have not been shot with how he's fucking talking. Sorry. Uh, apparently, um. <laughs> We got two down so far in that shootout. Yeah, if you guys need to go over there, feel free. Oh, we just you guys shot. Do, I don't mean to... Look, look he, he is not doing good out there, though. He's talking about blowing up the fucking... Uh, the, the fucking uh, Dead End Gang's house. Why? Uh, did anybody know about JoJo? Being harmed. I don't Being harmed? So. He said that Jojo, his daughter, is breathing down a tube right now. And that she's in critical condition and that little Jimothy is the one that did it. And oh, he, I, I, I talked to uh, Deputy Winters about this, actually, yes. Yeah, and um, he's demanding answers. He had a gun out. I managed to get him to put the gun away. He hit me in the, in the fucking head with his hand. Uh, I thought he was going to try to fucking shoot me or hold up the cadet or some shit. I managed to talk him down. He's calm now. He's fucking, he's emotional. And I mean, I understand where he's coming from. His fucking daughter's in critical care and he knows nothing. But I, I also believe, know uh, nothing Jeffrey about Winters this situation. This report. Okay. Uh, there's an incident between uh, LJ and uh, Wallaby. Where um, I think Wallaby did hurt uh, Jojo. As a result, LJ gunned him down and has been back and forth. I just don't remember where I saw the report. Um, St. Denis Shootout, 11.09, 11.08 actually, sorry, November 8th, uh, looks like we have a bunch of statements from it as well, Peaches was taking care of JoJo, we don't really have, hold on, let me see the witness statements here, uh, what was the number one more time? Uh, the date, last update is 11.09. Um, it's titled St. Denis Shootout. I just looked through for anything that had JoJo's name in it. It's the most recent thing. It's an incident. Oh, I um, see it. LJ, JoJo, and Ariel are under doctor's care in St. Denis. Jojo was missing for a while. The person found her was Wallaby. LJ is a gift. Wanted to give him something to say thank you. Part ways. What? Need someone to look at that, Ruth. Yeah, I was actually wanted to say. I think. Uh, okay, we need Ruth to need get. Uh... Oh, we got some folks also got Robert Emma Ranch. I just saw that. Mm -hmm. Where's Where's Stump at as well? Oh, uh, I thought it was with you. No, he left to go send the telegram. Uh, we can head over there. Uh, someone wants to come with me. Let's, let's go send a telegram. Um, who wants to stay here with? Ruth. Yeah, somebody wanna back me I'll up. I'm, I'm gonna try uh, to... I'll stay. Okay, I'm gonna right. I'm gonna try to converse with him and get him answers he's talking about. without shooting him, just trying to de-escalate. Henderson Henderson put the machete away. It's a sword. Right. I helps you sleep at night. Come on. Right. Come here. Let's have a chat. I, uh... uh Y'all be safe. Like I said... You too. I, I don't have much information on this situation at all. Have, have you reached out to doctors about your daughter? No. Okay. There, there should be. There, there should be doctors on duty. 
I don't know if there's any in Blackwater currently. But as far as information goes, I, I, I don't really... Uh, I wasn't present that day. I'm not really familiar with anything that went on that day. I've never met little Jimothy. I, I don't even think I've met your daughter, to be honest. I've only met you a few times in cells. I, mm -hmm. I, I know those aren't the answers you're looking for. But I would suggest you send in a telegram to Medic and try to meet with a doctor. Um. Mm -hmm. I do. I do wish your daughter a recovery, a swift recovery. That is. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else I can do? I, I, I know I, I ain't doing much. If it and I know it probably don't mean much, but I ain't gonna charge you for striking me either. I understand you were worked up and you were heated. Mm -hmm. What's going through your head right now, Henderson? Let us help you. Very violent thoughts that I'm trying my damnedest to suppress. Ah, right, that's a good start. Um. Violent thoughts towards. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> well. Like I said on that porch when you had your gun out. I understand being hurt and being emotional and being upset. It's gonna make the mind think in crazy ways. I've, uh, I know feeling like, you know, you can't do anything or you see somebody who's clearly struggling or hurt and you can't do anything. I know how that hurts. I really do. But I can't stress to you enough that violence or more bloodshed it, it ain't gonna help. Hmm. What will help your daughter is being by her side and speaking to the doctors and trying to help her recover. <clears throat> I lost somebody that I, uh, like, I cared very deeply for. And she struggled for a long time. And I was happy to be by her side. When she passed. This ain't me talking to you as a senior deputy. This is me just giving you the best advice I can give you. She's your daughter. God forbid she gets worse. You want to be by her side. And, and, and I understand all those feelings and all those emotions going through you. And how they're going to take your mind to crazy places. But try to suppress that violence and be there for the people you do care for. Like I said, just the way you were talking to me with your gun out, I, I know how much you care for your daughter and you love her just based off that. So I can't stress you enough to get in contact with medical and to be by her side. Be there when she wakes up. Fair enough. But, uh, I won't lie to you, son. If she dies, or she's being looked after by the doctors, I would highly recommend that you arrest me before all of the shits that I'm going to bring. Because if she goes down, then my God. <laughs> A lot of people are gonna get hurt. Ain't planning on taking it out on any doctors, are you? I hope. Why would I take it on out on any doctors? I'll do it to the people who fucking put us there. <laughs> I'd advise against that as well, but I... <sighs> I hope for the crossing's sake. She makes it through. I hope for your sake she makes it through, Henderson. 
One final ride on my fucking little boat. That'll be fun. Take everyone down in one go. <laughs> Anderson, I will say this now. If there's anything we can do to help resolve this peacefully, then please talk to us about it. I don't want to see you go out there. Do you think she would want that either? Do you think she would want you to be shed in blood in her name? Ruth. No, she's too nice. Ruth, she's like a mother. Look what happened. Too much like a mother. Deputy Marshall is dead. Too kind. Doesn't know how the world works. Your horse, let's go. Has what do you mean? Had a baptism of fire, you know? I ain't gonna wax morality at you and, and tell you what you or your daughter should or shouldn't do. All I, I, I can say is... But I... Listen, I'll just guarantee to you, and you can take this as fucking conspiracy if you want to, you can put the cell right there, but if she doesn't make it through... <laughs> the things that I'm going to do are going to be unthinkable. And at the end of it, I'll walk into a sheriff's office myself and happily hand myself to the gallows. But if she doesn't make it through, then it's going to be a period of sweet vengeance for me. And then, when the fucking noose is around my neck and you all pull the lever, at least I know I would have avenged her. Proper and good. The best, the best I can do is just offer you. And please go to speak to Metal, Frankie. We gotta go. Oh, shit. Come yeah. on, son. Anderson, please think about what you do. Please, hey, don't act on your emotions. I'll think That's all about I'm it. gonna say. I'll find another punching bag. That calms me down. <laughs> What's going on? Huh? I haven't seen anything, but Slack said that the deputy marshal's dead. We need to go to St. Denis. Do you need yeah, the stables? Need to, yeah, we need to go to St. Denis. I can't ride a horse. Okay, okay. You okay? You okay to go? I'll be alright. Okay. Slack just went off alone? Come on. It's gonna be okay. We can't lose anybody else. We can't. He's, he's gonna be fine. That pretty boy chin up, okay? Ouch. Try and do. Come on. 
Is Rip out there? Did he go to? Uh, I'm not sure, truthfully. Okay. They went out okay. to look for Stump, and then he came back saying the Deputy Marshal stood. He can't be. He's not dead. He can't be. Is he got crosswise or something? Okay, it's not. It is not true. I will not believe it. Victory march. Cold and it's a broken hallelujah. Got a fucking wagon. <laughs> Fuck. Somebody's chasing after us. Yeah, Milts. Can I get off the horse? Yeah, you're not a fucking hostage. Go on, tell them what I did for you. Guys! <laughs> I've been on an adventure. Both wonderful and strange. Can you hear me? And is that a moonshiner? I don't, is it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Stump. Look, Mills. Thank, thank you for bringing them. I, we we really gotta go. Okay. All right. Listen. All I'm saying is, the only reason I brought him here, Zip was gonna fucking torture him. I told him no. Thank Just remember, remember this. Mills with Peach's charges. All right. All right. I will. I will. Thank, thank you. you. We, we need to go. We I'm really sorry. Need to go. We need Stump. to go. You gotta Stump. go to Rhodes. Get your horse from Rhodes, okay? Okay. Ar Be safe, okay? Please. <laughs> oh my god, I feel so bad for stuff. I feel so bad for stuff. This is a dream, man. This ain't real. No, this is fucking real. How can, how can any of this be real? I feel so bad. This is fucking crazy town. Dude, I love Monroe. I really hope he's not dead. Don't you give in to it, okay? Don't you give in to the grief. <laughs> I'm so glad we got to have that scene with Monroe. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go up to Wallaby on Jabaz and, sh and shake his hand, because I'm assuming this happened because of the Dead End Gang shootout. So I gotta shake his hand, since he's the leader of the Dead End Gang, and be like, thanks for getting rid of this guy. I wonder which of the Dead End kids did it, though. I'm trying to think who all probably was there. Edwin? Wallaby? Probably Pete. Out of me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Dude, oh my god, if it was Missy, bro.
here. We did. <laughs> no, he can't. He's a fucking tough bastard. He's, there's no way he's dead. Promise you teach me to fish. Taking lessons from Leo, yeah. I mean, that's true, but. Do you know, um, do you know why? Uh, medical office? Maybe? Um... Yeah, I guess, I don't know, I'd assume. Well, maybe it's the sh sheriff's office. Sheriff's or medical? It's ch sheriff's office. Leo gonna ask Ed if she wants to get a drink. That is such a Leo move. Zip has been heard wanting to kidnap deputies around here. Oh, fucking hell. We, we, heard, we, heard, we heard about Monroe. Is it true? No easy way to say. Are you kidding me? Take stock. We can't be rushing ahead long at a fucking danger without a plan. That's how more people die. Yeah. Hey, Ruth, I'm have a word with you. Other than I imagine you've uh, read telegrams. Yeah. His body's go, over go, there at the front. Go see him first. Go see him first. Let's see if it's ran down. No more doctors on the way. Got something for you. 
I ain't gonna sit around and tell you it's all alright, because it sure as hell fucking isn't. We're gonna get these sons of bitches, right? But, I found something on Monroe. Um, there was a note, and I read it, and he wanted me, or anyone to give you this. It belongs to him. Now it's yours. No! Right. No, but it gives you some kind of... I don't want to say peace, but just something. He's a good man. My first ever friend I made in the crossing when I came over here. Struggled to make friends and he kind of, he set me on the path, so, yeah. <clears throat> I ain't too happy. I imagine many people will be. We'll get him. <laughs> Not that revenge makes it all feel better, but I know it don't. It's still gonna feel a little bit better, at least, right? You didn't get any of them. Not a fucking one of them. Who the fuck did We're it? gonna. We're gonna. It was a uh, wallaby. Um, squeaky Pete. That 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 whole shit show group of people. Edwin. Fuck. Yeah. Fuck. Mm. I ain't staying on fucking light duty. No, I don't blame you. Ruth, yeah. come back over here. What? We just lost the deputy marshal. Okay. Yeah, I fucking know. <laughs> We can't afford to lose anybody else, all right? We can't act with our emotions. We just can't. That's how we die. Way to be smart about this. Trust me, I am as sad as you are. That man, the, the deputy marshal, is the reason why I have a badge on my chest. Mm. Yeah. I'm in two minds about it, because you speak sense, kid, but I'm fucking nothing but angry right now. Me too. I want to find these I do my best bitches. work when I'm angry, so, yeah. And put a bullet yeah. in their fucking head right now. I'm with oh you. My God. I'm with oh, yeah. Slag. Right now, we, will. Oh we can't act on emotion. We, we can't be angry. Oh, my God. Just be smart. <laughs> Slag. We're going to seek go, justice the right going way. Going insane. Deputy Marshall. I know for a fact you'd want that. Yeah. I'm fucking tired of funerals, folks. I'm tired of every fucking bulletin on the board being another notice of passing. I'm tired of these fuckers thinking they can do what they want. Thinking they can run rampage across the crossing, taking what they want for people that can't fucking defend themselves. I'm tired of good men and women putting their lives on the fucking line and dying to protect the people from them. And I'm tired that none of them are fucking swinging for it. Oh, shit! Once we've taken stock, we've handled everything here. We're going to find them. Oh my god. We're going to find the dead end gang. We're going to find Zip and all of his fucking inbred friends. Oh fuck. And we're going to bring them out of justice the right way. All right? right. I want to be fucking clear. There's not going to be no cold blooded murders in the department as much as everybody wants to. I know what you're mm -hmm. thinking. You're looking at these corpses here. The bodies of your comrades, and you're thinking we want to get even, right? Heart needs well, you look down to be transferred and in... going to surgery. Sorry. Okay. Oh, okay. Emergency express that. train coming to St. Denis right now. Okay. We, we need, need to a meet. The medical ward. Let's meet her at the docks and bring her here. I mean, meet her at the train station and bring her here. Okay. That was Mitch. Is he alright? This is weak. I need everybody to look at the badge Fuck. on their chest and remind themselves what it means, okay? Yes, Sheriff. We're not a fucking lynch mob. 
We're not vigilantes. We're not murderers. But we will dispense justice. Hell yeah. All right. Load up on ammo. Wagon for a donk. Uh, it'd probably be more stable uh, to move them in a wagon, yeah. All right. I'll go get a wagon. Right wagon. I'll go get yeah. it. Get a nice flatbed. Okay, yeah, get the, yeah, get the, no, get the, get the prisoner yeah. one or something. Okay. How are you feeling, miss? <sighs> oh, fuck. All right. Yeah, his pulse is getting stronger. Um, I think he's gonna... Let me check a few more things before I turn off that valve, all right? Sir. Yeah, give me a moment. Yeah. Hey, uh, I wish I had something I could say to you right now. Fuck. Alright. I think he's had enough, and I think you've been enough, miss, so I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, turn off that valve. And I'm gonna finish you both up. For her. No, you've already given too much, and he's being transferred for surgery to St. Denis, where he'll be monitored. If he needs a transfusion, I'll give it myself. He can only give so much. Ruth. You can give anything, just... There's two things. Hmm. I had to wait to get Maul's body. She left him, she left him her badge. I've been trying to get it to him today, and we had a drink, and I had to leap down. I don't know what to do with Miles' badge now. I, part of me wants to go put it in his pocket, but I don't, I don't know what to do. What do you think she would want? She wanted him to have it. Then give it to him. We can bury it with him. The other thing is... On light duty, Not the wagon but I, I want to go out there. I can't I risk you getting hurt too. You're not in any state. I know you want justice. I know you want vengeance. But I don't want another fucking funeral this week. And I don't want it to be yours. You'll get your shot. This ain't gonna be taken care of just today, okay? Things are gonna change around here. Things are gonna change drastically. We're gonna bring the hammer down on all of these fuckers. I just wanna make sure we got the manpower. We will. No. I don't think we're gonna be shortened for eager deputies willing to... set Dude, things um, right. Me and Riff are going to the telegram station just now. Alright, we'll be back. Got the wagon ready outside. Alright. Take heart, um... The rest of us, um... Is what- how's sand looking? Uh, Not too sure, great. I would like to go with you guys. Okay. Two people want to assist with Let's, moving uh, him. Yeah. Two of you help Hart. Uh, Sand, is he, uh, I'm does he need to, to move as well? He's going to have to be moved. I'm checking to see if he's right. safe to move. Stone, I got you, Hart. Okay, if we can, we'll move at the same time and then we'll, uh, We'll wait at the docks. No, you can't hear me, sir, but she wanted you to have it. Alright, he's safe to, to move if uh, two people can assist moving him as well. Okay. I, can I help got with sand. Alright, I'll I'm try to pick up the sheriff. No, uh, then we need to just. Uh... Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be carrying him. Thanks. You got him. Alright, nice and easy.
Cabin. Warm. Be back, sir. Somebody shout outside. Make way. I'm gonna go tell one of my directors that I won't be coming back. The 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 conductors. There's a train out there. Yeah. I've got to give her this note. Yeah. All right. But yeah. Uh, I've got this for you, Ed, as well. I found it on him. He is a hero, man.
Keep. This. We were gonna, we were gonna get them together. I was gonna duck and you were gonna shoot. Who did this? It's... It's not something I can share in. You can tell me! This please. is so fucking sad, man. I need Leo to say something dumb, dude! This is so fucking sad! Was it... Was it... Was it fucking Mills and Alice? Because I just saw them! It wasn't them. I can't tell you who did it, Ed, but I can tell you one thing. Why can't you tell me? Because I don't want you going out there and doing something that rash. They're fucking alive. For now. I want them to swing, Marty. Whew. If I get my way, I promise you they will. If there's anything left of them to swing. By the time I'm done with them. They complain about this. It's a good time. I want them to be stuffed in those boxes and baked. I want them to swing. <laughs> yeah, we we Is there really somewhere you want us to take his body. <laughs> My can help with that. One of my mentors dying on law. Really good day for UFC, huh? <laughs> for now, Take as much time as you need. Can I just have some time alone? Yeah. Um. <laughs> just give her a few moments, folks, okay? Let's wait outside. Yeah. How do she oh my god, anything? did Rip get the lich? <laughs> yeah, definitely not. Yep. Does anybody want a cigarette? Damn, that sucks. Damn, that sucks. Anyway, there's some... The St. Denis Sluggers are getting into a fist fight today. In 20 minutes, I gotta go. See you guys. The St. Denis Sluggers are really living up to that slugger expectation. might grow out a beard on Oh, 
you're holding up. I should have stayed behind. Of all those fucking days to have yet to be on fucking light duty, it was today. So fucking mad. Buddy. is going to want to run a war path and go hunt them down. Yeah. Truthfully, they should fucking swing. Somebody get a prison wagon so we can move the body to Blackwater. Just be ready, all right. Yeah. I think I think Malone said he's gonna get a group together to go out looking tonight. Then I'll find tonight. out there wherever you fucking need me wherever Malone needs me it's like Malone said we ain't fucking killers deserve to be brought to fucking justice once they get taken to Sisica they should await their last fucking days in my opinion and I hope Malone has it his way and I truly do hope they fucking swing to be there for Ed. Yeah, I know. Flagging outside. Oh, we just got the wagon's here. Hello. If you need anything, you know I'm always here, right? I know you say the same for me. It goes both ways. I just need everyone to stay strong. Yeah. That's what he'd want. Get ready for the transport. Where, where are they taking him? I can assume Blackwater. I can't even ride a horse right now. So I'll probably hop on the, on the wagon if possible or on the back of somebody's horse. Yeah. All right.
I, this is the first criminal oh, in the, the crossing that uh the roost wanted to swing see so, yeah, i'd say it's pretty big I said that some probably can't reform but he'd prefer they go in life i need life. oil tanker clear downtown if it hasn't been already the blood spatter still being on Ruth's face is fucking huge, by the way. I'll take care of him. Yeah, you're gonna be okay. Yeah, I'm gonna try to be. You had a doctor look at you? For what? You look like a fucking vampire. Relate you to Kramer. I got shot twice in the chest yesterday. That's why I'm on light duty. Uh huh. Um, I wasn't breathing last night. Yep. Blood, well, um, fucking glad you are now. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah so am I. Seven here. We'll go with a beer, by the way. Actually, no, we have ten. Ritz, uh, Maple, and Ruth are inside. I wasn't sure how I'd be uh, perceived. He looks like uh, all of it. Ruth can't ride. I can't. I can't ride. Won't be wherever you need me. Ruth, uh, I want you to be part of the. Uh... Transport of Monroe's body to uh, the Blackwater, okay? Um, I need three able deputies to go with him. Where do you need me? On the wagon. Okay. We're bringing him to Blackwater, uh, Ed's wishes. Okay, could somebody else take the reins? I, I don't feel confident to take the reins in my fucking health. Yeah, okay, I, can, I need uh... three more to go with him. I can take and the then I need the rest with me. Wherever you need me, I'll go. Okay. I'll be up front with Maple. Yeah. Okay, Maple, um... We got a cadet with us as well, too. <laughs> take the cadet as well. And, uh... Tosh, you still here? No, she went no, to the medical missing. office with Sam. Okay. Okay, um... Brooks. Yeah. And, um. Brooks Parker's and, uh. Name. Yes. Um. Frankie. Alright. Let's go. Alright. I'll take my horse. Everybody wants to be a part of this right now. Yeah. Uh, give us a moment. All right, all good. Don't I need it out of the holster to do that, though? Left. I'm gonna say tap in the handle. Is that stump? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Take your hat off. What was that? Take your hat off. We're slowly picking it up.
I, I, don't, left. I don't think I'm ever gonna give Pete another deal or any of the dead end gangs another deal moving forward. Anybody have carrots to give to Stump so his horse doesn't die? Yeah, I'll give him. Stump, stop for a second. Slow down a bit while they catch up. I'm gonna take a piss real quick, chat. Where the fuck? There they are. Rider. Rider. And a left. Riders. So hard for a one row, man. She said, "Keep going." She'll stay with him. No, we're gonna wait. Okay. Last thing we need is to split up right now. Also, yeah, like, uh, uh, you know, if, it, if an opportunity came up. Well, and if you tell me who did this. Not something we can tell you, Ed. I'm sorry, Ed. Riders, multiple. <laughs> I just want to know. So sorry, Ed. I 
The minute they get caught, I'm asking Malone if I can telegram her who did it. The minute they're in custody. Look at Ryder. What the fuck? That man is half naked. It's a really beautiful day today. That's true. Ryder. Man, if there's ever a scenario where we get the drop on one of them and we don't have to shoot, stay, uh, but we are completely in the right to shoot, I'm 100% taking the shot on Ruth. Taking a bit of a longer way to Blackwater. If we're in our legal lives. right to shoot. Like, if the Boone situation happened... Lawful good? That is lawful good, huh? Are you guys dumb? You know I would, would have been legally right to shoot Boone, right? You do know that's still lawful good, right? I'm not saying I'm just gonna go execute the guy. I'm still gonna be a lawful Multiple good horses. character. But, but, I'm not gonna take the risk of getting I shot just to bit. hit somebody over the head with a weapon if it's one of the ones that killed Monroe. Yeah. I'm just gonna put a fucking bullet in them. Ain't like I'm gonna just put a bullet like in his head or try to kill him. I'm just gonna no, shoot him and I'm just gonna shoot him down. Too sporadically to be your people. Yeah, exactly. Not not like uh, was I understand it could be like the way I said it could be perceived as like executing him. Okay. Yes, the moral compass is shifted a bit. Yes. Uh, just for the people that killed Monroe, although he's gonna be he's gonna be way more open to people getting executed. Ruth. 
Ruth really cared for Monroe, man. Yeah, I think like... I guess let me put it like this. The best way I would describe it, the easiest way I'd describe Let's it to chat, to the, uh, is Ruth is no longer an extremely the, lawful the good character, but now he's just a lawful water, good so character. Keep him, you know. If that makes any sense. Gotcha. Slowing. Uh, Alright, stop with me. The fuck? Stump go, I need... Where did he... What, what do you need? I need a hand to lift him, I, right, you can't I, help. I can help. I can help. No, let me help. Ruth, Please. I don't need you to hurt yourself even more. Please let me help. I'm on light okay. duty, but I can still help. That's alright, we got it. Right, we got him, let's go. Right. Do you need anything? I don't know what to do. I wish, uh, I wish I had an answer for you. Pardon me, folks. <laughs> it's not a good time. Right it's now, not a good time right now, no. sir. Sure. All right, well, uh, y'all take care. Yeah. I, uh, I wish I had an answer for you on what to do, Ed, but... I have a lot of thinking I gotta do. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Look, I, uh... Can I do anything to help at all? Actually, I need to find some people. Who? Uh, this may have to wait till tomorrow. Might not be a bad idea. Get some sleep, if you can. Yeah. Have some tea or coffee or something. Maybe something warm to eat. Take care of yourself. Thank you. Where, where are you heading? I'm going home. Want me to walk you there? No, I, I, I'm fine. Right. Just be careful, alright? Yeah, take care okay. of yourself. So. Thank you.
habe ich mal. What are you doing? Making yourself dizzy? I just don't know what to do. Get these sons of bitches, that's what to do. No, I can't do anything right now. Well... Then you need to fucking rest, so that you can. There ain't no easy answer for any of this. You know that. Yeah, I know. We got these fucking badges, we're gonna put them to use. Monroe would probably yell at your ass right now if he just saw you walking back and forth. Yeah, I know, I know. Take some breaths. Remember the good times. No need to uh, keep your emotions in. Won't do you any good. And also, I know it might be uh, a help right now. But maybe try and stick off the bottle so it won't help you heal quicker. from people I love. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's exactly the reason why we do what we do. I know. There's, uh, there's nothing I don't think that hey, uh, anyone can say right now. That would do anything any good. Uh, some of angel's been kidnapped from the train, heading northeast from Valentine. Son of a fucking bitch! Fuck's sake! Go. Just um. fucking go.
to the, to okay. the chasing of the uh, train at least. Okay, northeast from Valentine. Northeast from Valentine. If anything, if you're sticking around. Roof. Yeah. Just one inside. Just send us direct telegrams in case we're not near tip line. Fuck, I don't have my horse. I can just have my telegram. Oh, are you going to bed? I'm probably just gonna go off and be alone. Okay. Alright. Take care of yourself. Talk to you later. Yeah. Look after yourself, Ruth. Yeah. I gotta go cope with fashion shit. Well, oh, this, this was short lived. Okay, let's make a new winter outfit, chat. <laughs> I got, I got like a little sweet outfit I want to make. Let's see if I can find the right colors for it. I like this turtleneck a lot. Finally, some good content. Yeah, and then I'm ending after this. So. Enjoy it while it lasts. Fuck, man. I wish that blue lined up better with that. I need to see how this looks. Hold up. I'm going for something. How does that blue and gray go together? Does that look good? Something with the vest, though. Like, this probably looks way better, doesn't it? That blue is sick. A scarf arc dying? That's not true. Monroe dying is way sadder. I really want to use this, man. I'm retiring on Jabass, so you know what? Fuck it. Okay? I, I'm retiring on Jabass, so I'm wearing it. It's getting retired on Jabass anyway. It's a turtleneck. I can't wear a fucking tie, man.
Wait, okay, look, it's it's the winter, right? Hear me out, though, chat. Hear me out, right? You guys hearing me out? The gray pants with the dark blue, the black coat, the black. Hell, even if we don't want to do the exact pants, we could do. I hate that button. Okay, end. We could do these pants instead. I'm pretty sure this is the shirt Monroe used to wear. And it goes with the coat, actually. That's why I was thinking about it. I'm trying to find something that goes with this fucking coat, bro. It's so hard to find something that goes with this goddamn coat, man. I think it like this. Would be the way to do it. We could do this tie. By the way, this gun belt looks fucking sick. I need to make a character that has a gun belt like this. Sorry. I saw that and I thought it looked cool. Yeah, it looks good. I'm just dirty. I'm just a dirty man right now. Yo, what up, Ray? Dude, your death is... It's so fucking sad, man. The day I was doing light duty too, bro. The day I was doing fucking light duty, man. That's on purpose. I, I, I... Kennedy better dread the talk we have, man. Kennedy's gonna dread the fucking talk we have. Was this the gun belt that he was wearing? This gun belt goes so well with the revolver he left me. Monroe. I was trying to find a different gun belt that would work well with the gold. And I just realized... This might actually... It does match the revolver. Dude, you made me so sad, bro. Giving me a, the, your fucking revolver, man. You made me so fucking sad. Right, is this is this the gun belt? You, I mean, is this the buckle you were wearing? I can't tell. Now I actually think it is. From, from, from first glance, I think it might be. A heavy week, yeah. For real, it has been a very heavy week of permas. It's similar? Yeah, I was, I was looking for the exact one, but I can't find it. It looks similar, though. Oh, I think I, it might be on this. Nope. Dude, this, I gotta do a character with this gun belt, Chad. Look at this fucking gun belt. This shit looks sick. Dude, this is the gun belt we usually wear, and it just does not go with the gun. You know what I mean? Holy shit. Dude, I, I can't believe Leo said, I want to shoot them in the fucking head, bro. That was insane, dude. I I did not think Slacks, of all people, would be talking like that. 
granted, Sob's been up a long ass time. Sheesh, that looks fucking sick. But I don't want to go with that one I had on. Dude, righty, I have your fucking horse from Carter. I've got your revolver from Monroe. Dude, I, 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 you missed it, righty, but it was Frankie, Maple, and uh, and Brooks, and I, I was crying after your body got dropped off, and I basically was like, I don't want to keep getting revolvers from people I love, because both you and Molly left me your navies, man. I'm wearing this, dude. This gun belt looks so good, bro. I mean, he has since joining the department, though. Or the poncho. Also, righty, I need your opinion, okay? Do I go with black pants or do I go with gray? Okay. But soon, my, my outfits are going to be similar to all dead deputies, man. I've got a Molly outfit that I usually wear. Now, now I'm making... Yeah, I like the gray with the dark blue, too. I think the black might look a bit better, but I do like the gray with the dark blue. Gray. Oh, okay. Okay, I see you. Ooh, okay. All right, that does kind of look spicy. Okay. Oh, hold up, that does kind of look spicy. The gray with the tie is a good fucking call. Holy shit. God damn. Alright, let me get a bandana to go with this. Woo-wee! True. I gotta go watch UFC too, man. I'm twenty I'm twenty eight minutes late for UFC. I I already know what hat I'm wearing with this outfit. <sighs> let me find it. If only there was a gray, like a dark gray one. If only there was a dark gray one. I don't think I'm going to wear the hat ever. But I like having it as an option. Is this actually the hat? Ain't there another one? I'm going to go through and make sure there ain't another one. I wish my hat... Didn't have a fucking red band on the black one. Actually. Hold up. I'd be... I could do this. But the brown is throwing me off. A lot. That's the gray one? Yeah, we could try the gray one. Let's see. Anytime I wear the gray, I tend to not wear that hat, but it might work really well. I feel like I... Do I do it? Hmm.
There's a brown gun belt I always use. There's a brown version of this. Is it just this? Is this the one I always wear? That. Okay, hold up. The gold on that kind of I kind of fuck with, with it. I think this is the gun belt I always uh, use. I kind of fuck with it. It would just that uh, do we do the easy option and go for the black belts, and then just do a different hat though. I feel like that's the simpler option, personally. I feel like it's just easier to do a different hat. Yeah, it's good, but I don't I don't I don't really care for the brown too much. It's the gun belt part that's throwing me off. The belt part looks good, but the gun belt part was throwing me off. Plus, I'm probably not gonna wear a hat with this outfit ever. I tend to not wear them. And if I do, I mean, you know, I'll just wear Rip's hat. Plus, me and Rip both got weapons from Monroe, so it'd be nice to, ha to you know, if I had to wear a hat with this outfit, and it's an outfit for similar to Monroe's that I'm wearing Rip's hat. Because Rip's another big mentor. Probably don't do suspenders on this one. Probably no suspenders, right, Chan? Howdy, Mr. Ruth. Howdy. You doing okay? No, I'm not doing okay. Is there anything I can do for you? Not right now, but I appreciate it. Okay, I'll be at the shop if you need anything. I'm here for you. Keep that in mind. Come to me anytime you need, sir. All right. Thank you. Mm-hmm. You stay safe. You too, Have a good day. Jesus, bro. This outfit is fucking drippy. This outfit is fucking drippy, chat. Dude, like, th this is the best version of it, I think, though. This, I think, is the best version of it. This is also really good looking. Fish with Seamus, he turns into a person you don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> He's a dominator times two. I'm very agreeable when I play cards. I don't get competitive or nasty or <laughs> confrontational sure, or argumentative yeah, or hostile. Never. Oh my god. Oh. What the fuck? Jesus Christ, I went to drink my fucking whiskey. Holy God.
Wrong character. You shall not do. Any more, and I'll float up into the air like a hot air balloon. My ego is dying for size of the moon. What do you hear? What do you say? No fucking Thank way. You. Has a way hey, with horses. Ruth. Sorry, no, sorry, I, I did that wrong. She has a way with horses. Can I help you? Can I help you? Excuse me. That nah. Me. Hey, how you doing? Howdy. You alright? Um. <laughs> All things considering. I was gonna say, is that even a question you wanna ask? How are you today? Better than I was yesterday. I need to I need to telegram somebody directly. How are you today? Alright. Just woke up not ten, fifteen minutes ago. <laughs> Doctor look over stitching and everything. Bridget did. Okay. I need to go after him, man. I wanted to hit him so badly with a revolver, but everybody told me not to push myself. Funny thing is, he just walked off, bro. That's the funniest shit.
shit. All right. Ah. Okay, it's all right. Fuck me, man. Just the first? Just the first fight? How many are left? They had to have fucked off. I, I, I really want to go solo right now and see if I can regain visual. I really want to go to Yodiville with him. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you right now, bro. Benjamin City. Me, you, TwitchCon, Benjamin City. In vid in stores. We'll, we'll go, we'll go to, uh... I had a telegram rip. <sighs> Looks like he's doing the check-ins. I'm gonna go out riding for them. Looking for the group if, if I can. I don't know who they're talking about, vaginas, I think. Oh, excuse me, sorry.
going to go try to gain visual. Solidary man. Solidary man. Assuming if that was them, which I could not get a clear visual on them, when there was those horsemen, there's two on one horse. There's a lot of horses. Assuming their trajectory would be towards blah, towards uh, be towards thieves. We got a group of riders. That's got to be slacks. Hey, I just fucking sent a telegram to you guys. What Wallaby happened? was in fucking Blackwater. God damn it. He just Direction. fucking left. He went south. I, 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 I think. He was on foot. I lost him because I couldn't catch up to him because I was fucking hurt. I got on my horse. I saw a large group of riders over by the blue house over there. If that was them, they went south. Oh, that explains why I saw going That's southeast. So Peaches going, yeah. So Peaches is probably going. He's saying. I sent. I just sent a telegram to you. No way, that's a ranger. To uh, right. to you, Rip, and to you, Malone. I have him right that's fucking there. And I, I I had to wait. It's all right. Look, some patience is probably the best right now, especially if you're hurt. You you did well. All right. I suppose they've gone west then. I, like I said, I, I would check either. If they were leaving southwest from Blackwater, they could have easily wrapped into tall trees. That's what I was gonna say. I, I think their, their trajectory is either gonna be thieves to out west or tall trees. All right. Well, let's solve tall trees first. And then, uh, if they're not there, we'll go to we'll go to New Austin. Okay. Okay. Uh, still right. needs his horse though, so we should go in there quickly yep. and get him get to the stage. I just want to say, just so, so that it's the record set straight. When I saw him, it was him and Missy, the two of them on foot. I lost yeah. visual, and then I saw a large group of riders. My assumption is that's them with the rest of the gang. I couldn't make IDs on any of the, the large group, and that that Did large group went southwest. No, I yep. only saw him and Missy. Those were the only okay, two I could ID on foot. We just saw Peaches ride south alone. Towards Thieves. Towards Thieves landing, yeah. Okay, and then my, 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 what I genuinely think then, that that large group of riders had to have been them, and they're going south to Thieves, or possibly past that, and meeting up with Peaches. Mm. Alright, thanks. Yeah. They probably just missed them, bro. My assumption is... That if that was them, they went thieves, if Peaches going thieves, and then possibly going out west, but Peaches could not be related to any of that, and they could have went this trajectory to tall thieves and possibly up this way. There's lots of different paths. I wish I could have sat there and explained all my thought process on it, but... I mean, Rip, Rip, between Rip, Slacks, Malone, and Bolton, I feel like they'll be able to figure it out. I don't know who the else is on it. I got, I'm gonna go watch UFC though, Chen. So I'm probably gonna wrap up, go do my gambling that I do. My Ruth gamble. Like, uh, how do you say, um, uh, best friend for that? Fight starting now, perfect timing. Just, uh, I just want to know something that bring, makes you happy. This is not part of the question. Part of the question would be like, uh, 432 times 26. Seven. This is a bold face lie. Thank you for playing. What were the numbers again? 
Oh, we'll say 423 times 27. I'll go up to camp tonight. 58. Uh, I think you have to go a big, bit bigger. I'll yeah, ride up to camp. wrong way. The, well, actually, technically, his well, first entry was 7, so he's going to go right gamble. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, you're... you're... Wait, what, what, what did you say? <laughs> Can't get on the horse. Can I not get on this horse? Bro, I swear to God, Ares, this ain't the time to be acting the fuck up. The nope. See, Ares. Later. Now that Monroe's dead, Carter's horse is fucking dying. What is this? Huh? The fuck is this? But I really want to go watch this fight. I got. I got to be quick. Take care of you. No, I'm not gonna spend them. I, I selfishly hope they don't catch that in kids tonight. And also, I really hope we get to have some sort of some sort of interactions with Wallaby men. Having to be able to do some stuff with like Wallaby and Ruth. That interaction He didn't even want anything, man. What an asshole, man. I was really tempted to fucking hit him with my revolver. I'm not gonna lie. a sad song we could put on while we end. This is an easy one. One of our law mentors is dead. This is an easy one. This one just fits so well because of the fishing comment. Oh no. Oh! Okay! No way the second fight's over. You're fucking kidding me, bro. No fucking way. Bruh. No fucking way. What the fuck? Dude. Motherfucker, I said I'm gonna end and come. I'm just doing my gambling and then going up to my camp. Ooh. 
Oh. Need in the jaw? Fuck. Is there only one fight left? How many more fights are left on the main card? There's one more now, right? Gravel and the silver spoon. And a boy, a man, and a man on the moon. Three left? All right. Well, I got time now. I'm gonna, just ride up. I'm gonna haul ass up to camp. Anyway, I'm ending. Monroe really had to die on the day of the UFC fights, man. I'm running. I, I don't want to miss poor air. Hopefully Benny's there. First the sluggers lost, now this. Aries are really <laughs> okay. Aries, thanks. I've been an asshole, today, Aries. I'm put on one a rerun. Yeah, what up, Naya? I'm put on a rerun song from a Molly dude. I can't believe Monroe permitted so he didn't have to make Maple a senior. Sag. The song we played for Molly. I gotta, I gotta think of a song for Monroe. Oh God! We need to think of a good sad song for Monroe. Oh, I'm such a bozo, man. Hold on. His name's Logan, after all, so... I couldn't think... Uh, why wouldn't I just go with Hurt? His name's Logan. They played this in Logan the Movie. I agree with that, Dante. I've got Carter's horse, Monroe's gun, a Molly horse, a Molly gun.
Oh, dead man gun gun is a good shout. Holy shit. He doesn't even know yet. How you feeling? Why are you crying? <laughs> it killed Monroe. What? Monroe is dead. It's a shootout in Saint Denis and they killed Monroe. That was it. That was <laughs> what? <laughs> he was one of the very few people that I felt like I could go to about anything in the department. That was one of my higher ups. It's more than like a, a boss to me. He was a really good man. I looked up to him a lot. <laughs> They're out looking for them right now. And I really hope Malone gets his way and those fuckers hang. Can we add zip to the list? <laughs> what am I? What, what am I saying? Never mind. That zip's a fucking idiot. Uh, either way, we're just gonna add this. We're gonna add this to the list of things that we're gonna get through, right? Yeah, but I, Benny, I can't keep getting people I love's fucking revolvers left to me. I can't keep getting revolvers. Ah, well, uh, I'll take. Okay, I thought See, you were gonna shoot me. No, no, of course not. It's called Mad Lad. It's Monroe's revolver. Is, is he really dead? Yeah, I didn't believe him. I didn't believe anybody until I saw him lying there. I had to hand him. I had to hand him. I had to hand him Molly's badge today. And he died before I could do it. Because she left it to him. So, I put it in his pocket. We got to share one last drink before he had to go to respond, and I didn't, I, f I felt like I couldn't, after he had to go to that service, I just, I felt like it wasn't the right place to give him that badge. Told me one to take me fishing. You wanted to teach me how to fish. We were all good. I, I wanted to be you and him to go. <laughs> Cause I've had a really rough day. The worst part about it is I can't do anything because I'm on fucking light duty. Cause I got fucking shot. Not only was I not by his side, 
But then the worst fucking part. Poor Ed has to carry his fucking body because it's only me and Maple. And Maple doesn't want me to fucking pull stitches. <laughs> she has to do that. And then the, the fucking worst of the worst. Wallaby, the fuck, <laughs> fucker that leads the gang that fucking killed him. Shows up at the telegram station while a hunting party's out and it's just me. And I can't do anything about it. Because I got shot sh fucking in the chest. He was right there. He was right fucking there in front of me. R Ruth. Sometimes we can't do anything. Yeah, I know. I know. Trust me. I watched Molly for months. Not months, but fucking weeks. Pass out. Shake. And I couldn't do anything about it. I don't think it's true. I think you did everything. Time. No, Ruth. You did everything you could. And she knew that. Yeah, and I could have done more today with Monroe. I wasn't uh, fucking that's shot. That's not on you, Ruth. That's on them. All of this, it's on them. Yeah, Wallaby, Zip, Mills, all of them. How's it on Zip? For what he did to you? Yeah, what he's gonna continue to do. And yeah, they're all gonna get their fucking justice. We ain't killers, uh, but they're gonna get their fucking shot justice. You too. They should get the chair. <laughs> yeah, Kennedy put two in my fucking chest. Wait, I'm not happy. Wait, Ken Kennedy? He shot me in the fucking back twice. Okay, I'm... Okay, uh... Now, now I feel conflicted. Can, can I take back my previous statement? Yeah, you can. In my chest, but my belt well, went through. To be fair, one was a through and through. Fuck you guys! I shouldn't stream. I shouldn't stream on Saturdays. Fuck you guys. Uh, you know I, what? I for one, uh, want to make fun of me. And, and done taking their shit. You know what? I, I, the only person that I, I'm not saying that to right now is Beans, okay? You, me, Kennedy, uh, Malone, all of us, we're going to go out there and we're going to get them. You and me are going to get healed. And we're gonna go out Make there, and we're me. gonna find them, and we're gonna bring them justice. There Every single one of them. And everybody else. And then when we're done, we're gonna we're gonna go fishing. Yeah, something like that. What bed do you stay in? Mostly the right, but the left one is way more comfortable. Let's pick. You go on the left. All right. Just take care of yourself, yeah? Uh, yeah. I don't know if you read my telegram. The doctor said I need to get opened up again. Jesus. I'm going to be fine. Don't worry. You better be, all right? They wouldn't give me any more drugs, so I'm just kind of having to tough it out. Stingy bastards. Yeah. Stay safe, okay? Yeah, you too. Uh, I'll probably be cleared for duty after I get it looked at. Right. Probably tomorrow. Have a good night. Thank you for everything, Benny. Uh, I'll be right next door. All right. You just flap your sheets if you need anything. All right, will do. 
Alright, the entrances are happening. Alright. I'm backing up Dead Man's again. Uh, who do we raid? Connor? Yeah, let's raid Connor. Can you give me the exact copy and paste of his name? Just so I don't have to spell it. Alright. Thanks for the Saturday stream. Yeah, jokes aside, I'm actually really glad I streamed today. I'm really glad I, I streamed today so you guys can see all the scenes leading up to Monroe's death and everything. I'm actually really happy I streamed today, so thank you. It was a really emotional and sad fucking stream. I might uh, I might grow out the beard. And we've never had facial hair on, on, on Ruth, technically. I might go a black beard, dude. Because his facial hair kind of looks black on his face, like the trimmed version. I might grow a beard or something. Because it looks bad? Nah, it doesn't look that bare, bad, to be honest. The one does, but I'm, I'm going to look through facial hair see if I can come up with something. I definitely want to want to have a different look, if I can. But, uh, no, seriously, thank you guys for the, uh, for the support. And I'm really glad that we streamed today. It was a, uh... It was a, uh... It was a, it was a really good day of roleplay. And uh, shout out to Righty, dude. Righty, fucking, what an insane perma, man. I love getting a role play with him. I, I, it, I'm so, I'm, I'm, I'm so blown away that we, uh, we got Monroe's revolver too, man. So, go send Connor some love. I love you guys. Have a good night.